And we'll start recording again. Uh, good evening, everyone. Another banger out of John Diacopinti. I'm talking about eat more chicken. Hmm. I'm not eating chicken. <clears throat> I'm eating the end of a chorizo crumble I made. Hmm. It was real good. Whew. Hey, everybody. Joseph Rothschild here, a.k.a. MBT. A couple of quick announcements to get out of the way. Helios, you you read my mind. Check it the fuck out. A hundred thousand views on I hosted a tournament to prove my terrible ban list will not end Yu-Gi-Oh! and learned a valuable lesson. A hundred thousand. How did we get here? This is my first video to hit a hundred thousand and I, ideally my last one as well. Uh, and, um, this is, this is the next one we're hoping for. The, uh, the second, the sequel, the squeakquel. Just upload ban list content? No, I'm not going to do that. Ugh. But hey everyone, it's your boy, Joseph Rothschild, aka MBT. We are here for an, an a nice, a nice little night. Nice little night. A um, Two mate, thank you for the subscription. A chill, slow night. We're gonna have a, a real, a real nice night. Me, I and uh, CJ Alex is right. This means that this is officially, officially the number one video I've ever made. Chibi Gohan, thank you for the dollar. I have a Chick Fil A right across the street. Oh, oh my. Um, this is officially the most popular video I've ever made, which is surpassing. This one. I'm talking about me beating the Guardian Dragon on Adventure Quest. Sire Tachyon, thank you for the subscription as well. Hope your day is going well. It is It is going well. Look at that. I mean, just look at that beautiful, uh, beautiful unregistered Hypercam 2. 93,000 views on this, by the way. With a whopping 95-62 like-dislike ratio. That's because for the longest time, you, some of you boomers were probably not alive when this was the case. But, um... YouTube had stars. You would give stars to a video. And many people did not think this video deserved five stars. Read your description. Absolutely. I went into the void and I beat the Guardian Dragon. That is true. My character. Adventure Quest is copyright 2007 by Artix Entertainment. Song is Super Mario Bros. by Nintendo? Nice music, dude. You rock. Toadstool Dad, thank you for the 131. This is to even out my bit count. I appreciate it. And we have succeeded the first level of the scam train. It might be the second. I don't know. What were you, 12? Uh, AJ Flame 14, thank you for the subscription. Was I 12? I would have been in 2007. I was... 13 yeah you were close we are approaching 24 hour stream month yeah uh pretty slow though we we still got a couple of months yeah remember mech quest do i ever remember mech quest i wonder if i actually have oh yeah do i remember mech quest well oh shit this isn't me what the fuck I absolutely had a uh, a mech quest video. What's going on? Maybe it didn't ever upload correctly. I remember I had a couple of videos that just never uploaded correctly on this. Uh... Yeah, I guess not. Damn. That's rough. Why do they have thousands of views? Because they're they're good videos, idiot. Let's sort by popularity. Look at how good this video is. I mean, behold. Oh, I actually can't play the this one because the backing track is fucking a weird owl song. <laughs> Uh, 
you know, it's just uh, my video is simply too good. It's uh, it's too good, and it's me fighting this guy. That's the way it goes. I was subscribed to this channel like 10 years ago. You were not. I have 57 subs on this channel. I could probably see my subs. 0% chance that that is true. Idea for April Fool's content. Upload an adventure quest video? Oh, I might. I have an idea for April Fool's content already. Don't worry. But uh, we're running out of time to put it together. Tankman isn't even out yet. Let's fucking update your game. Ugh, I can't get these out of my fucking... Okay, everything else here I think I'm okay with. I can't get these out of my recommendeds. Ooh. Oh, oh, eh. I don't think there was anything spoiled there. That just went up, so not a problem. Ugh. All right, so uh, here's here's what we're gonna do. In fact, let's um hold up. One hour of jazzy Doomer music. Yeah, totally. Let, let's search Adventure Quest. What is Adventure Quest up to these days? I think, actually... Let me see if I can log into my old Adventure Quest account. Let's see if we can figure this out. What the fuck? GB Gohan, thank you for the 100 bits. Keep the hype train going. What? Oh, play Flash web version. Oh... Oh no. No, my character. Oh fuck me. Oh there's no way this got ported over to HTML5. No way this got ported over. There this was there was no coding for this. It was literally made in PowerPoint. Oh damn. You can log in through the launcher. Oh my god. You're going to make me download the Artix game launcher? Yeah, this is spyware. 100% this is spyware. Absolutely not am I doing this. Okay. Emperor Stove, thank you for the five gifted tier one subs to Stinky Tommy, Eclipse Conglomeration, Wolf Terry One, uh, Meowry One, Georgie George, and Pock Inks, thank you for the five gifted subs okay. as well. Princely Crow, Dewey Adams, Roxas156, Caustic Soda Osu, Rockfist 766. And remember, if you didn't get them, you gotta type dodge. That's the law. I that's why I'm going to law school is to enforce this law, and you will go to jail if you don't do it. Okay, well maybe I'll do this for the the uh 24 hour stream, but I don't think we're uh Yeah, I don't think oh there's a community. I don't think we're oh, let's do the shop. Go to the shop. Open the shop. Arctic's Points Hero Mart. Okay. So I'm not going to buy points. <laughs> By the way, this is an insane amount of points. Hero Mart. Oh my god. You're telling me I could have the, the Adventure Quest 2021 calendar... For only the collector's edition okay. Adventure Quest 2021 calendar for only thirty dollars. Oh, you have got to be fucking with me. We've got some kind of oh, I don't recognize any of this okay. shit. Oh my god, none of this shit is. Is there anything here that I would recognize? Yes, this is the two the two uh little guys. That are on all the promotional material. It's like a hat. I could get into that. Uh, oh my fucking god. Wait, this looks cool as hell. Is this in the game? This is so cool. What the fuck? Oh my god. Am I gonna have to play Adventure Quest? Oh, wow. Someone someone tell me what this is. Does anyone know? Okay. Anyone have any idea? This is the multiplayer one? No. Okay. I don't care about that. I'm looking for the old ass flash game. Invasion of the Apocalypse. 
I'm glad that nothing's changed and we're still doing the same bit over and over again. Oh my god, they have plushes of all these little guys. <gasps> oh, it's the three big ones! Oh my god, it's it's the, the nice one, the evil one, and the one that you would find in the forest. Oh my god, this is... Wow, I'm really doing something. Oh, there's a book! Oh, you know I gotta buy and then read on stream. Our Adventure Quest, The Dragon's Secret. Oh, man, I have to purchase Adventure Quest, The Dragon's Secret. I can get it signed by... Oh, I can't get it signed. It's sold out. Oh, yes. When an apprentice mage, John Black, loses his entire family to a dragon attack, he doesn't think things can get any worse. Yeah, I should hope not. But then he discovers a secret that pushes his loyalty to the limit. Come along with John and his friends as he and his friends battle dragons, stow away on a pirate ship, face off against an evil mage, and confront the underwater council of the Myrrh. Along the way, John must choose between revenge and friendship and decide whether or not to risk everything to stand up for what he believes in. And you get in-game items for buying it. I must have this. Oh my god. I played all of these. I played this one. Uh, this one was in... This was in, I shit you not, something called Gamma build when I was playing it. It was worse than Alpha. It was worse than a limited Alpha. It was a Gamma build when I, was, when I could play this. And then Dragon Fable, I remember... I remember playing this and being like, oh my god, this is going to just... I didn't want to play it. I felt bad playing it because it was so clearly was going to completely supplant Adventure Quest because it was so much better. It was just the same game, but like made with love and care instead of whatever happened. And I guess, I guess that actually um, I shouldn't have been concerned because uh, this one supplanted everything. God, this looks like shit. Was this, was this game, is this game any good? I imagine, I imagine it's not. Worlds was good? Oh, okay. Worse than RuneScape. Well, yes. Gotta be, hard to be better. They have a card game? They have a card game?! Hold the fuck up, baby. Okay. You can be a wizard. Okay, I'm sorry. This looks like the most boring shit in the entire life. This looks so boring. It's just Tinder. Uh, says Sudsy Nasty. Thank you for the Prime subscription. This is this is just Tinder. Okay. Well, we are we are not going to be playing this. Uh, sorry, Arctic Entertainment. I'm not interested in your game. Not since Flash went bye-bye. Okay, so we've been streaming for uh, 15 minutes now, and we haven't done fucking anything. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Very happy to have you here. Today, we're going to be doing a couple of things. We're going to be talking about the extravaganza. We're going to be talking about the uh, Chalice Line Monthly. We're going to be watching Gage and uh, Simo go at it. And if you spoil who wins, we will kill you. We will just ban you on site. And, uh, you know, maybe we might be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh, too. How does that sound? Do you all want to see, do you all wanna see someone uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh? Seen a lot of no's. Okay, well, that's fine. Maybe we won't play Yu-Gi-Oh. If I can hope. We can hope. Okay. Nah, Battlegrounds? Ooh. Maybe. Adventure Quest stream, please? Yeah, you got it. Okay. So, let's start with the, um... With the extravaganza. Just gonna go on M. Cole 40's channel. Because he's got it up. So the extravaganza was this weekend. 
And by that, I mean the second stage of the extravaganza, the remote dual invitational, which I did qualify for. And I got out of uh, mock trial at a reasonable time to do it. But the night of mock trial, the night before the invitational at about 7 p.m., I got the worst headache I have had in my life. Like painful, splitting, unceasing. I took a couple of ibuprofen. It did nothing. Could not figure out what caused it. I was fed. I was hydrated. Uh, I had, and you know, the actual truth of the matter was that I was fucking stressed. I was extremely stressed. Um, I had been working really hard, uh, for a lot of things. And, um, as soon as I got any amount of relief, that is, uh, being done with, uh, being done with mock trial, my body was like, you're done. It was like, you better fucking quit it. And so I, I said, you're right. I better fucking quit it. You know, in the past, I have been like, no, content demands that I continue. Um, as I become sort of a larger streamer and a larger content producer, I am learning to just be like, no, it is better for me if I don't. And so Sunday, I had a nice day with my wife. Uh, I uploaded a couple of videos that'll be coming out in the next couple of days. Uh, I just got my $75 play set of fractals. My God. Well, you got to do what you got to do. Um, but, um, it was for the best. The person that I conceded to round one of the invitational, cause they didn't let me drop before the event started, uh, ended up getting top eight. They got eighth place and we had a, it, it was someone I played last time. I don't remember who it was, but I believe it was the person I played the last round who got fucked over by, uh, his connection. So, you know, shout the fuck out to that individual. Um, great stuff. Great stuff. Um, but, uh, big uh shock obviously in um in a smaller event like the remote dual regional qualifiers which were broken into two like 50 person pods eight of which would qualify it's going to be a lot more rogue than you're used to right over the course of a long tournament with a high entry you can expect meta to sift to the top over a six round tournament where everyone is an extremely high skill level you are not going to see something similar happen right so, uh, both of these, uh, events had wildly different outcomes and both of them featured prominently a ton of fucking rogue decks. Let me see. Uh, this is, oh, he's got them both in this one video. So we'll just plug in and, uh, see this. Ugh. So number one, we've got, um... And these are, these are the first, uh, and you know, also bears repeating. I say this every time there's any sort of meta shift whatsoever, but do keep in mind, this is first week, right? We are not sure what is good. Uh, it's mostly speculation. There's been one week of tournaments. Uh, it was two events. So, you know, don't get super excited. One unsolved LCS does not a format make. And these are all high-level players playing a small six-round tournament. Similarly, important for determining what's good, but not the be-all, end-all, right? It is very much unsolved. People are going to be shouting, Dragonlink format, Dragonlink format, Dragonlink format all week. It is not the case. Deck is very beatable and, you know, is not going to choke the life out of anything. Events of this format have come and gone besides... Okay, guys, so... The up, first up, up, two... Up, so here's the first one. This is the one that happened on Saturday. We've got four Dragon Link. Uh, unsurprising, this was the expected best deck uh, coming into this weekend, but still kind of shocking to see that amount of representation. One Virtual World, which should just show everyone that, uh, that maybe you should shut the fuck up. Uh, everyone was like, Virtual World dead, Virtual World dead, can't make VFD, can't make VFD. I'm buying into Virtual World. I think it's never been better. The deck is extremely good. It's extremely based. And I don't think it's at risk of huge hits in the next ban list either. Good ass card. Joseek1337. Thank you for the uh, Prime subscription. Uh, we've also got one uh, Tri-Brigade Lyralisk. Uh, as you know, a bunch of individuals are jamming this deck to massive success. I hope we actually get to see it in the actual Invitational stream because it is a blast to watch play. It is just so much fun from a spectator's perspective. Mech Knight Invoked. Let's go, baby. It's a nobody. We don't know who this is. 
Um, it's not like Rykape or Lundredy or um, uh, Depressionist or any of the normal Mech Knight Invoked uh, spielers. It's just a person playing Mech Knight Invoked. And you know what that last one is, baby. You know what that last one is. You know what that last one is, baby. It's gotta be Gren Maju. And I will give you one guess. I will give you one guess as to who is playing it. I will give you one guess as to who is playing it. Who is playing Gren Maju? Let me know, chat. Who do you think is playing the Gren Maju deck? Exactly correct. Exactly correct. The only person who can play Gren Maju. The only Gren Maju duelist in the entire world. If I search Gren Maju, what is the first thing that comes up? It's Yishan. It's gotta be. Hey guys, it's Yishan here. I oh just... Oh my god, he's so fucking good at Yu-Gi-Oh! How is that fair? Managed to uh... top my remote duel invitational qualifier with no... Or I guess I'll... Just thought, you know, Tri Brigade Lyralisk, it was pretty good, but it was too easy. It was too easy to win events with this. Look at this fucking deck. It's so bad. He's just too good. Okay, three Grand Maju. The one thing about Yushan I really like the ASMR. He has the mic very close to his mouth. Ooh, it's nice to listen to. All window to win the game. I stayed in the bubble match. Um, and then we have three Pot of Desires. I mean, it's not three Pot of Desires. Three Gizmek. <laughs> Gizmek. Gizmek's in this deck. Why is Gizmek in this deck? Banishes eight Basically, cards. Basically, just as good as Pot of Desires. Deck was capped at 40. And I, I was like 38. Eater. And I needed two more cards. And Eater Million seemed like the best choice. I was shocked to see Eater in this at all. But it is the the 39th and 40th card. Uh, so it actually has some potes. I didn't want bird. My danger luck was three good. Bigfoot, uh, three the Thunderbird, Halloween. just the eights, and three Gamsiel, three Gadarla. Got to play Gadarla to beat a, a bird up. That's why you play it over like um, the seven. Also, you know, its star line is really good. It's also got foot to go along. It's it's on Luna. This is also a Luna Kaiju deck, by the way. Also a Luna Kaiju deck. Very cool. Uh, these cards were pretty good all day. I uh, see Alpha. Also two Alpha, a card that has just completely vanished from competitive play, comes in, uh, comes up here. Too much. What well, I did see Alpha helps you in the grind. Monster opponent control for deck to grind you. Most people are excited. Like, except every. Well, also we have one Panker Tops, just a bank, stable. Bank, bank, bank. I actually didn't draw them all day. And then uh, spells. So the most. So triple slumber. Or game it didn't stop off. I sold um, that, but maybe D shifter. D shifter in your deck. So Three trade in. So many exciting and what a pretty trade in, by the way. Three super polymerization. Three super polymerization. How do you get away with it? How do you get away with it? I'll tell you how. D link. Should I participate in the extra deck reborn support? Because if not, and then of course three desires and reborn. I see a lot of people meaning this card. D shifter in the board. Absolutely correct. Card is ass and a half in some matchups. And I understand why. Uh, I think it's fine in the side though. Like there were times where it was really good, and there were times where it was pretty bad. Uh, it's like proponent of talking is very uh, hard. That problem, huge that proponent of uh, uh, the, the sideboarded shifter. Um, I love that. So like, I love that like, he is boarding the like third eater. Um, but yeah, you ever get a mom matchup um, or maybe, But basically, when I decided to summon limit, Teak Boo, um, Harpy's Feather, one red reboot, Twin Twister, like, Harpy's reboot. Um, so the card twist deck, um, Every one 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 single one card wins the game. We're on the Dragoobleon play. We're on Pain Gainer. We're on a bunch of eights. We're on Santaphon. Um, there is that. The Super Poly package is Starving Venom, Dragus Topelia, and Mud Dragon. Um, I an Elvish, honestly. Oh wait, there's even more. Elysium, Mad Golden Lord, and Im Alarm Duck. Holy shit! all gives you some Mad Golden Lord. Went for half. You went for world. Um, you I still would get back to the. Look at how sexy this is. Um, no, they were on Santaphon. Oh my god. So pretty. What a an insanely good deck. How did he do it? It was put together actually by Anthony. Uh, the image I actually have saved doesn't have anymore, but this was the Eddie Gaming qualifier. Once you see Alarm Duck once, you never make the board that dies to it again. But you do lose once. You just gotta lose once, twice, baby. So we had four freaking drag. Does our boy have some lists? Oh, okay, so here's the uh, uh, Fletcher list. Thank you for the subscription. 
<clears throat> so here is the uh, the one for the one that I missed. This is the one for Sunday. Um, and holy fuck! First of all, what the fuck? Seven different decks in the top eight. Unbelievable. Two Dragon Link, unsurprising. One Zulich. Could have been me, baby. Could have been me. One Numeron. Just a quick reminder that everyone was saying, well, you know, at the end of the day, they did ban S0, so Numeron's dead. Zexel who? Zexel who? One Shadal Invoked Dogmatica. And I don't care what Farfa and his little cavalcade of gremlins say, Shadow Invoke Dogmatica is a cool, interesting deck that I like seeing play games of Yu-Gi-Oh. I know that ooh, normal summon invoked still makes so many gamers mad. I think Shadow Invoke Dogmatica fucks. I like it a lot. I think it's a cool control strategy. If you are getting butt mad at seeing Makaba in the year of our Lord 2021, come on, <laughs> get over yourself. <laughs> Uh, and the dolls are just so explosive. The dolls are just so explosive. Uh, we've got one trap burning abyss, uh, one dinosaur, and one stun, in quotes. Oh, Gabe, do send me the uh, the Numeron list. And what do you think won? What do you think won out of these? What do you think won out of these? Seven different decks. Which one win? Gabe! A hundred percent Gabe! How? Why would it be anything but burning abyss? I can't believe it. Burning Abyss won this top cut. How? Why? We are literally losing to Beatrice Pass in the year of our Lord 2021. Oh my god. It's EI. Yeah, here we go. I don't think the video's out yet. Uh, if anyone's wondering why I am not subscribed, it is because this is my alt account that I use to upload the VODs. There isn't a profile yet. Okay, well, do subscribe to Gabriel Zombie and fucking wait for it to go up but unbelievable unbelievable motherfucker won the entire tournament with burning abyss how wild but you know i do have to be real i do have to be real let's just scroll back for a second and be real Firewall unbanned. Gabe wins the next week. Put two and two together there, baby. I tweeted it to you. Oh, boy. I'm going to the tweets and replies. Shit. You skipped it? How did I skip it? Is it in this one? Very first one. Ah. All right. Oh, it's an MCOL40 video. Oh, it's not an MCOL40 video. They have tagged MCOL40 in it. All right, DD Goods, Gods, what's going on? Yo, what's good, guys? You got um, bro, you got to download OBS. You got to download OBS. It's your boy Nike All-Star, and I'm here with... With your boy Rated God Fresh, we here. Yes, yes. All right, you got to go into Audacity. Ah, sadly, I lost in top four to a D-Link player. I did beat him in the previous rounds, but he got me when it mattered the most. Whew. Yes, yes, yes. We, you know, we played Numeron, but you guys are here for the deck profile, so let's get absolutely. right into it. All right, guys, this is the deck profile of today. Two Ash Blossoms. Gabe, you're still in chat? 
am I going to feel physical pain from this? Am I going to feel physical pain from this? I just need to know. I need to know. Okay. I'll brace myself. Here we go. Standard. Two Lancias. That mm. was a spice of today. It definitely helped me with Dragon Links. And yeah. Dragon? Dragon Links, man. Yeah. Um, one driver. Okay. Two gamma. No! Uh, so the reason I run two gamma is because the third one was good, but I was seeing it a lot where I was seeing three, then after it's dead, they have become bricks, and I this worked perfectly. Perfectly. Okay, okay. Next, we ran the two Godalas oh, and the wow. two Lava Golems. Okay, this is almost um, defensible. Once again, for bird up, but I did not see a bird up matchup. People still calling it bird up. Yes. But it still came good, like versus Dragoon, or if I had an out the bull savage, and Lava Golem, you know, takes any problematic cards. <laughs> hey, actually, it won me a game versus... um. John Snell, thank you for the subscription. Gabriel. Okay. Gabriel, you lost to Lava Golem. Nice. Oh, yeah, the thousand damage and standby. Two planets... I'm um, sorry, three planets and oh, okay. oh, thank go God. to three walls. Uh, okay, all right. Um, that's okay. six ways to it's get just bad hand spell. trap, Matt. Also it's just bad hand trap, um, Matt. Everyone plays attacks, bad two of hand can, traps. Um, they all think hand, they're the OCG. It's fine. In battle phase. I'm sure the rest is going to be fine. That's actually really strong. Terraforming. Yep. Call by the grave. Yep. Harpy's Feather Duster. All These good. Are my good for shit. My spells. You know, self explanatory. Next, we're going to off to the two lightning storms. Um, you know, blow up them back row if you need it. It actually, I top decked this card to get um, Warrior from, I think, a different planet is the name. He was sitting on that. Um, activate that oh, one again. Okay, uh, all right. It's exactly, fine. yeah, that it's card fine. is pretty crazy. No. Two talents. Is that double tactical talents? Um, it, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, um, talents is pretty good. Um, okay. three forbidden okay, droplets. Right, okay, I'm back in. I did not see it I'm at all I'm back in, today. baby. I'm um, back in. So, yeah. <laughs> Dread first. Thanks Big money to not see it. <laughs> uh, MVP of the day, hands down. I wish I could play 20 of these cards. This is the card you played three of. Um, Memories of Hope, draw four. Uh, yep, resol resolved it every time. Resolved it every time. Insane. 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 Uh, next, two callings. Don't get mad, chat. Uh, this one's correct. The next card you're about to see, the three Numeron okay, Networks. God. The deck wouldn't be anything without this card. Yep. And, you know. I know. Not, not, no. Whoa, whoa. Never that. Never that. And the one um, Red Reboot. You got to play Red Reboot, and that dude. Is it of course for you have to play Red Reboot. Um, On to the extra deck. Now for the extra deck. Two number ones. Two number twos. Two number this threes. Fine. And that was you know, not on extravagance or anything. Fours. Two, 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 two and down the line. That's the OTK part okay. right there, man. Double the attack. So, ex exactly. Pretty much um, one attack, two attack. They boost up if they okay. attack the monster. You know Abyssal how that King, goes. That's your mannequins. That's your mannequins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, Fine. All good. The one gamma, um, Cyframe Omega. Yeah, you got to play the Omega if you draw one of your two gammas. Uh, Next, we run the Hauk. Why? And I'll also show you the Unicorn because um whenever i'm stuck with a monster on a field and i draw into a um a tuner or if i have a saw user and i can special summon a gamma i'll just go into hulk hulk effect to special summon a tuner make unicorn either bounce it back to my hand or if i have um like a card a problematic card i'll just you know get rid of it from there okay okay Fair. next we run the mega clops that right. i should have made in my last round <laughs> but i didn't <laughs> yeah i don't know how dragon link outs that um appaloosa Yep. You know, um, four when you stuck with when you stuck with four and you just need to make something for negates and yeah. New Zaxu. New Zaxu. New Zaxu. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Saryusha, man. Yeah. What is Saryusha for? That's it for the extra deck. Is that it for so the extra deck? The spice, right? The spice. Wait, that was only fourteen cards in the extra deck. And Chat. What's the spice gonna be? What is the spice gonna be? And this is the spice. It's Rainbow Neos. Rainbow Neos. Yes, yes, yes. Followed Rainbow up by, Neos. you know it, Rainbow Neos. So we run three Neos Fusion 
and an elemental hero neos and a rainbow dark right rainbow dark dragon yeah sorry about that yeah so this is a spice guys this right here won me probably seven games my opponent did not see it coming no i bet they did it has three effects one effect if um you can send a monster including itself to the grave shuffle all attack um just monsters in general back into the deck number two oh my um, spell god attacks, if I top card of the deck this All right, the for the side deck, the history of we're time. running three Droll and Lock Bird. This is D-Lane, sided in one, in the two Sanctums. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, how was this week? This was great. Um, Whenever they made me go first, I dropped this on them, and yeah, you now didn't they want have it to a just more often. sit there, look at the board. They can't special. <laughs> If I don't window, see a trap much. trick, I'm gonna lose um, my different fucking dimension mind. Grounds, different dimension grounds. Um, we run this. Um, I didn't see it too much, but I did see it against the um dragon link, and it worked out pretty good. He had to pass his turn because all his cards was getting banished. Mm -hmm. That's Next, D show barrier. me the trap trick. I did not use this card at all today. I didn't. <laughs> the next, the three strikes and the two judgments. Nope. And how is this? This was great. Uh, go first. Judgment, have everything enough to where my opponent can't kill me and I can OTK. Okay, so this is going first. This is when I go for, I, everyone's making me going first. Um, no thank you, man. That was Neos. Run the right first. I would like to shout out, of course, the one and only Nike All Star. You know, I had to shout out my boy. <laughs> really tell he was in one plague. He all judges. Well, uh, that was that was based. I mean, honestly, why would you put three ofs in your deck if you could just draw the two ofs? It's easy. it's as simple as that, idiot. This guy got top four. What 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 have you done? Exactly. That's what I thought. Wow, that was the f you have to tag in. Okay, so let let's check out some of the decks real quick before we uh, move on. Augury. Uh, Rin, thank you for the dollar. Let's just play Count the Two Ofs. Uh, we will get to here. This is a Dragon Link deck. Nothing super sexy here. It's just pretty normal. Um, the 2-2 two -two tidying. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this card is. Excuse me? What is this card? Phantasme? Is this the new art for it? John sure. Wilkin. Uh, making top eight, and as I said, I don't know who got mm. like second, third, or fourth. They're all just top eight to me for this breakdown. So John, I'm here. We're all cool thing about the choice of the format. Oh, that's an ugly art. Everybody try with three format. Ugly art. List for everybody. Here. Dino, you know it. It do be Dino. Uh, what I like about Dino is that the list has been solved for ten thousand years. On Mystic Mine, I'm pretty sure. I do like double extra, double prosperity. Point, like, that's you, very you, funny. You have to tag in some sort of Mystic Mine. Ugh. Plus triple. Very small, actually. In here, strap four. Why wouldn't you play Raigeki? Source. Osprey opponent. We actually kind of interesting. So I was talking to Ethan, and he said, uh, "This uh, is like quite literally my exact Zulich build." Oh no, it's actually on way more zoos. Oh, I, I completely lied. Um, he made budgetary options because he didn't have droplets. Oh, he didn't have droplets. So uh, which is actually really good. That's he impressive that he still got that far. That's the this money top eight for this. So, sorry. I mean, I don't know what to say. If you hate this deck, you have no soul. Calgary. Siberian Rabbit, thank you for the dollar. Here's an absolutely innocuous Pojo link. Fuck you. All right, fine. This this deck fucks. Small it's so cool. Small package here of Ecclesia, Fleur de Lis, the Triple Nadirs, and the two Punishments. Standard, <clears> what is it, seven cards? No Maximus for this deck, by the way. You want to point that out? And we are hard hitting here with. Siberian has linked me to the big grand list of things that target. We'll talk about that in a sec. Maximized super poly. All right. Hey, look. Two invocations and never try to play three all right you're, you're just being crazy at that point extra deck down here looks very very standard i don't see anything that's stacks awesome uh, droplets it's yeah, simply based i'm sorry uh with um, please check out band 40 for all of 
that's the way that it be. <clears throat> so in general, pretty excited about uh, the way Yu-Gi-Oh is shaping out. Pretty excited to see what people have come up with for week one. Pretty hilarious that all these two brain cell decks are topping. Very, very good. And uh, none of them are Drytron. Happy that Drytron uh, can suck my pee-pee poo-poo. It is not a good card. Not a good deck for some reason. I, I don't understand. But it will be back once Mu Beta Fafnir comes out. Real quick, we'll do this. Um, Siberian has linked me to the big grand list of things that target. If you're unfamiliar, uh, there are a couple of big grand lists in Yu-Gi-Oh. For example, the big grand list of things that uh, Mystical Ref Panel can change. Before problem solving card text, they needed to put together a list of things that targeted. And uh, this was established in 2010. And here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Every, every pre-PSET card that targets... Just want to point out real quick, uh, one time I played Wattlock in an old Reddit non-meta tournament, like in 2010, and uh, my opponent uh, tried to beat me by activating the effect of Noble Maneater Bug, and I had to link them to this document. Because this targets, despite saying flip, destroy two monsters on the field. This is a super normal list, yeah. Okay, Haas, I'll click this. What do you think of this dra DA list? Looks fine. Nothing crazy. The Chimera Rathlesia is kind of weird, but I, I get it, I guess. Defusion in the board. Hilarious. Augury. CJ Alex, thank you for the $1. Big grand list of female cards. <laughs> well... Mm. Awful. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much it in terms of... Uh, oh, this is equally funny? All right, Siberian. I'll give one more. Augury. Effects and other... No. Trapstick, thank you for the subscription. This is... This is a list of what kind of effect every effect monster has. These motherfuckers had too much time on their hands. Now I see why the economy crashed. None of you people were doing anything. Sit at home writing the big, long effect text post. <sighs> All right. Really calling back the meme of MTG judges as lawyers and Yu-Gi-Oh judges as medieval alchemists. Yep. Anyway, there's a lot of uh, really interesting stuff that is um, that is going on. So now that we uh, have that out of the way, I want to talk real quick about Chalice Slime Monthly. The Chalice Slime Monthly is going to be this Sunday. Sunday, 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 March 28th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think that it's Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, March 28th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be the Chalice Slime, which will be held on uh, Sunday, March 28th. 11 a.m. Eastern time. You know what? You know what they, you know, it, it truly is Sunday. And as a result, it is also March 28th and it's at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's when the tournament's going to be. And just so you all know, one more time, the Chalice Slime tournament is going to be on Sunday, March 28th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, what day is Sunday? The 28th. So here's, here's how we're going to do it. Um, if you are a patron at the $5 level or above, don't worry. You will be getting the link for this on Wednesday, and you'll have an entire day to sign up with priority entry. We will then post it on the community page of the MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! channel Augury. at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday, March 25th. That's Thursday, March 25th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link will go up. Thursday, March 25th, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link is going to go up. Uh, 
So, you know, get ready for that. You all should pro what what are you bringing um What are you bringing to this? You're going to bring something stupid, are you? Mystic mine. Uh-oh. What Fox Sidra, I have terrible news. I have awful news for you. Oh, th this person, one glad morning, literally wrote bullshit. They literally just wrote bullshit. I'm going undefeated this time. CJ Alex, have you ever cleared? Have you ever cleared? I don't think you have. This list seems quite sus. Sus? What do you mean it's goaded? 41 cards. <laughs> this li deck list looks like it's from someone who stacks. Is that someone's name? All right. Hey, everybody. We've been live for an hour. You know what that means. It's time for an ad, baby. It's time for an ad, of course. We're going to play that fatty ad, that one-minute ad. Uh, it's going to be a one-minute ad. And if you don't want to see it, you can always subscribe at twitch.tv slash or by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account and then subscribing to me with your free Prime sub. We're going to fire that off. And Rebecca, if she is here, is going to fire off the predictions for progression series. Now, please, 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 please. If you've seen the progression series, do not vote. Okay? you've already seen the episode don't vote you can't get anything for the points all right but uh you know feel free to if you haven't oh and uh one more thing as as part of child slime rewards top eight gets this Ooh, it's the field center Ooh, it's shiny and shaped all right i'm gonna go get food is there another trophy? There is. If you get first, you will get a big-ass trophy. And we're waiting for it to arrive to Space Dandy 1993 to post. I, For some reason, it is not. I added myself to the female list. Congratulations.
Augury. All right, I got my food. I got my attitude. Now let's go. <clears throat> All right, folks. Time to watch progression series. <laughs> Extreme Victory for one of them. Extreme Victory Extreme was released Victory. in May 2011. Notable cards in this set include Reborn Tengu, TG Striker, TG Wonder Magician, How's the volume? Monk, Little and high, a powerful little new precursor to the Xyz era tour guide from the underworld. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or little one slow. box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? The Black Wings, and specifically Kalut, are just way too strong. I am slightly concerned because I feel like if Gage gets better with the deck that he played in the previous episode, I might have to worry about it because then he'll be more proficient with the combos. I actually think I should have lost and we are on turbo pack and uh it actually looks like oh wow we almost got a common wild card but three tournament packs it is so all right What's in this one? As I mentioned, we are on Turbo Pack 5, and I want to give you guys a quick rundown of what to expect. Colossal Fighter is the ultimate rare, and this is one of the best level 8 synchros we have access to in the game. My synchro pool is atrocious, so if I could actually pick this up, I'd be pretty happy. Dark Hole is an ultra rare is pretty nice, too, because this card's actually unlimited, I believe. So, getting another copy of this would be nice, because it's more access to board wipes. These are the highest rarity, though, so it's pretty unlikely we're going to get them. For the super rares, again, nothing too special. Laquari, Snowman Eater, Six Samurai United, Spell Shattering Arrow is kind of cool, but we have stuff like Fairy Wind, which I think is probably just fine. Nothing really too crazy here. The rares, however, get Audrey. slightly more interesting. Digging Flint, thank you for the subscription. So we have Puppet Plant, Wolf, although I think we have three wolves now, I don't remember, it's been a while. Cyber Altanin, Torrential Tribute. This is another shot at Torrential, which I think is crazy. How many Torrentials is Simo getting? How many Torrentials is Simo getting? Five. This is a rare torrentials at three, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we're going by current format rules, and that card could just be a blowout. Gage does have traps done. Gage does have my body, so torrential may not be as good, but it's a board wipe. I can't pass it up. Escape from the Dark Dimension, something I missed out on in Phantom Darkness, so having a shot at this could be cool. And Zoma the Spirit is all right. Let's go ahead and check out the commons. And for the commons, we have a Manju, Abyssal King Shark, Spirit of the Six Samurai, Black Salvo, Darkness Neosphere, Miracle Fusion, Shield Crush. This is a very, very big pull. This is a. So this is just why this is fucked, right? This is just why this is so fucked. The turbo packs are so fucking good at reintroducing shit like Black Salvo, which were really difficult to find in their original capacity or whatever. Shield Crush, very hard to find in its original capacity. So there will come a time when we get to like an era where like machine Dark Machine Synchro might be playable for Gage. Oh, but he never opened the tourney packs, so he never got a shot at Black Salvo. Oh, but he never got a shield crush. He can never destroy, I don't know, a fucking big shield gardener, you know? Essentially, the counterpart to Nobleman of Cross Sucks. Out. It doesn't vanish, but it is able to take out a defense position monster, whether it's face up or face down. I think that is huge, and I'd be happy to pick this up. Seven Tools of the Bandit coming into common is also nice. It's a way to possibly be able to negate some of his trap cards. We don't have a lot of cards like this that are able to... By the way, I want to point out the like-dislike is like 90%. What happens in this episode? What could possibly happen in this episode to get that bad 
of a like this like but do that and getting this a common would be pretty cool royal command is also kind of whatever so nothing too crazy in this pack nothing like nobleman of crossout broken but we actually have a lot of really good cards to pull so let's go ahead and get into it all right ladies and gentlemen so three packs of turbo pack five let's hope for those shield crushes i think that would be the best card to get pack number one uh, I mean, Amonju is actually not bad. I don't think ritual decks are going to be viable anytime pack. soon, but it's a cool pickup. The rest of these are kind of whatever. Let's just go ahead and fire the second one and see what we get. Another Manju, so I think that's either our second or third, depending on how many we got previously. Royal Command is kind of okay. I think it stops the effect of flip effect monsters. And then we also have Miracle Fusion, but we're not playing heroes. Final pack, though. Let's see if we get something good. I'm really hoping for it. And wow, oh. really not too much to talk about. I guess Damn, wait a minute. Okay. Hold up. But let's go ahead and hand it all over to Gage. Notice he didn't edit it, by the way. People were like, you're editing, you're editing, you're editing. So he's like, fine, I'll do no cuts. And then he opened like shit. Because he's going to tell you all uh -oh. about Extreme Victory. I really, really hope this title means something to me, fellas. Extreme Victory released May 10th, 2011 is our next set. I am begging you. I am begging you not to talk about the high rarity archetype. It's our next set that we end up spending in the loser circle, so you guys gotta go over the set with me. Lots of really good synchro monsters as well as synchro support in this set, and I'm gonna go over a few of them for you guys. What's the best to pull out of this set? We'll find out shortly. Let's go over it. The top card already brings a lot of memories. Reborn Tengu. This card's nuts, guys. Super rare. If it leaves the field, summon a Reborn Tengu from deck. This card was amazing back in the day, but this is one of those cards, kind of like Nimble Sunfist, where it's only gonna be useful if we can pull more than one copy. Can we get lucky and get three Reborn Tengu? Oh, I hope so. Unknown Synchron isn't a bad level one tuner where we control no monsters. We can special summon from your hand. We can only special summon one once per duel this way. Still, it's a free level one that we get to slap on the field, tribute it for a monarch, or use it for a synchro summon. Blackwing get a couple new cards, as they always do, but these ones are also just really bad. They're they're really not good. I don't think Alex will play them if he pulls either of them, and I don't... Like, this is it. You can't talk about Tengu. You're not getting three Tengu. Talk about what's good at low rarity. I don't think he's really pining to get them anyways. TGs also get... I think this is their debut, is it? TGs get some support, and these TG cards are nuts. TG Striker was actually on the Forbidden yes. list for a while. This card is crazy. It was a two for a long time, right? Card, special summon it out. It's a level two tuner, and if it's destroyed, we also get to add a TG monster from deck to hand. The second effect is, like, pretty good still on its own, but its first effect is being able to get a level two tuner on the field just... When our opponent has a monster, not bad. Warwolf pairs pretty well with it too. When a level four lower special summon, we can special from our hand. So if we special the striker, we can drop the warwolf as well. TG Rush Rhino is also released in this set. This is the basic makeup of a really TG stun deck that would be uh, actually pretty good in the meta yes. a little bit here. But we're going to be using it for their intended purpose, which I think is just to synchro summon and get uh, a whole bunch of monsters on the field. A couple new psychic cards get okay. released here. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Master, which would be new TG stuff could turn, turn this for Gage. New TG stuff could turn this for Gage. Which is also pretty good. I need Chibi Gohan seal of approval, but I think it could happen. We have Italy. Sorry, Alex. On to the synchros, the important part. Junk Berserker is the cover card of the set. It's not really that incredible but it is a level 7 that we can use with quick draw synchron so if we pull it it might be okay tg wonder magician bad is something that comes every now and again because it is a how wonder magician is quite do. good uh, it's also just you know not that bad of a card nothing too crazy in the department of synchros this time no around. yeah no, like, and you're not going to pull them anyway like, scrap dragon or starter dragon that we you're not going to pull them episodes. anyway it doesn't matter you already so have really good synchros I aim for any of the synchros this set if i can get like a wonder magician it's pretty neat because i plan on playing striker if i can pull a couple copies debunk's okay. a super rare trap that comes up every now and again in the format sometimes it's pretty good and other times it's just not that great currently the only application to it is probably stop dogmatica cards but back in the day i could stop hand traps and everything like that definitely not terrible save zone was also not really that bad Gage, you can't think of one application for debunk. You can't think of one application for debunk that might come in handy. Either you could pair with uh, what was the combo? It was like white dragon, white white ninja dragon, <clears throat> ninja ninja dragon, white that guy. You could pair it with that guy, and it would make it like non-destructible or something, and it could do something crazy too. I remember ninja ninja dragon white. That guy. You could pair it with that guy and it would make it like non-destructible or something and it could do something crazy too. I remember that combo back in the day. People would play that with Hanzo. Yep, those were the good old days. And then as for absolute bombs we can pull from the set, Tour Guide from the Underworld. We all know TGU, incredible card in the XYZ era, but also pretty alright in the Synchro era. But we're right on the verge of getting all these XYZs too. So a card like Leviathan Dragon can become instantly useful if we can pull a Tour Guide. Uh, also Tour Guide, it grabs Sangin, which is pretty damn good. Everything else is like, yeah, it's okay, but those are the main things we're looking after today. Hopefully I can pull some TG Strikers, some Tour Guides from right. the Underworlds, and we can really rev up our deck. Oh, and of course, JCD Cadeau, the thank you for the, the uh, uh, subscription. Okay, so twenty for the subscription for the raid. God damn it, I need to stop going on autopilot. Packs of extreme victory. Now, this set I'd say overall was probably a step down compared to what we've been seeing lately. Okay. Some of the cards I don't give a fuck what Alex pulls. Alex is literally going to pull nothing interesting. And the secret rare slot are insane, right? Like tour guide would be nuts, but you have to keep in mind that you know they're the highest rarity. We're not likely to get them. Where other sets have had cards such as like Droll and Lockbird and Gravekeeper's Recruiter. Does everyone else say go dot? Around. And so it's almost sometimes more exciting to get those sets because we actually have a realistic shot at getting those cards. Okay, but here we go. 24 pack, two times speed. We are on sped up first of extreme victory. Let's fire it off and a super rare right off the bat. Naturia Eggplant. Don't think Garbage. we're playing that, but it's a nice oh, pickup. dual wheel. Actually, that's card. pretty and good. I Gage is probably going to put this in that synchro deck if he's still playing it. Extreme victory also brought us more color curry card as well as the TG archetype, which is what I'm slightly concerned with because TG Striker is a really strong card and will allow for Gage to just synchro off even harder. There's a lot of cards that could benefit Gage's strategy depending on if he pulls them, and that's what I'm slightly concerned about. This set also had more six samurai support as well, and some of like the best six samurai support cards that really helped push six sam to one of the best decks during this time. But this like, TG Warwolf, I really wanted to try to make a sort of TG stun deck, but I did
Look at Alex. He's like, ah, I was thinking about making TG stun. Mm. But I have a deck that's better than anything that existed at the time. A single copy of Horn of the Phantom Beast in the set a few sets ago where that card was printed. So I guess you could still arguably make it, but it's not nearly as good. All right, 24 packs, extreme victory. Let's see if we can get some extremely good cards to bring us to victory. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Pack number one, nothing. But we got the unknown one. That's like one thing I was looking for. At least one of those bad boys. You'll find the unknown. Oh, a fusion? That's a skip. Don't really care. Hey, don't talk shit about elemental hero Neos Knight. And Chaos Infinity. I remember Chaos Infinity being pretty good. <laughs> Change as many defense position monsters on the field to face up attack position, then special summon one mech lord monster from your deck or graveyard. This is a great card. This card's great. For the Black Salvo deck. Care about it. Whoa, Reborn Tengu and a TG Striker. Two in one. Good fucking pack. Pack, that's killer, dude. Let's go. We get another Tengu. We're early on in the opening. We are looking clean, fellas. If we can get another Tengu. Let's see what we can do. Oh, come on, give me one. Give me one more. One for the one time. Well, there's an Ultra Rare. It's not the Ultra Rare. Just opened Halberd Cannon? Well, it doesn't do anything. Considering it's TG Halberd Cannon, this card is not going into the deck, even though it's a Synchro Monster, because the material requirements and the level requirements are way too unreasonable to play this. Bit unfortunate because it wasn't Ultra Rare, so that does take up a slot, but it is what it is. And to no one's surprise... This motherfucker opened a first edition Ghost Rare Junk Berserker. Guys, the theme of Simo pulling the worst Ghost Rares imaginable continues. There is Let's a Ghost go. Rare first edition, by the way, copy of Junk Berserker. This is another card that is most likely not going to go into the extra deck, considering this it specifically needs Junk Synchron, and aside from that, it's any other tuner. And plus, this card is Junk, just not junk Synchron is a, a starter only thing, right? It's really that good. We have better Synchros in this slot. God, it could have just been anything else. That's so unfortunate. There's another Ultra Rare. He's opening the entire TG line. Just play TG. And it's, again, one of the worst synchros we could have pulled because it's so unrealistic to make because it's a TG monster. Its level requirement is insane. TG Blade Blaster. I mean, I guess we're getting some hollows, but, man, these are not good. <laughs> no. Yo! That's Hold the fuck up. Like the same pack back to back. That's so good. Two Tengu, two Striker. My guy, we are cracked now. This is looking great. Come on. You better win, Gage. We are super early in this opening, too. There's we really going from here. And Esadari, if only we were playing those glads, bro. If only. If only. That would have been a good pull. Really good pull. But we no, are. wouldn't have. Oh, Esadari sucks. Oh, Ghost Rare. Wow, we got the uh, Ghost Rare cover card. This one, it's like, it's another summon we could do off a of Quick Draw Synchron. If we were even play Quick Draw Synchron, but it's not really that good. I'm going to love no. with you guys. So far, though, Hollow Luck is not that terrible. It's just not that shabby. Let's see if we can keep going. Something's wrong. I think YGO Pro deck is broken. Gave them the same card in the rare slot in packs three and four and in packs eight and nine. Yeah, that just happened. We got another ghost. <laughs> we got another ghost rare junk berserker. What the fuck, dude? I, I wasn't even gonna play one of them. Now I got two and they're both ghost. Wow, thanks game. You're great. Sheen's Dojo. If only we had more six samurai cards like the, uh, the gateway. The gateway was the one thing I was hoping to pull last set that would really tie us together. But Do we really need gateway? I don't think we really do. I mean, we we need Shien. We need Synchro Shien, and then we might as well. If we get Synchro Shien, we can just play it like Duel Links with Dual Wield. We didn't get lucky with it, so not really something I want to consider. All right, coming up on the last four packs here. Let's see if we can get lucky in the close. Dodger Dragon. Dodger Dragon's like turbo. See the third, play uh, wow, that card's like really bad. A Tengu. super rare Eggplant. Is that like, to that's totally troll. It's got to be. This card can't be good. Wow, yeah, that card. Eggplant is great. Yeah, that card is really not good. That is a troll super rare. On the last pack, anything good in the close? No, but we did get two Tengu, two Striker, and the Unknown Synchron. As far as it goes, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Double Tengu is really, really nice. I think we can build something pretty good. Let, let's see what we can throw up in the... Oh, man. Chat, how mad am I going to be about what Gage builds? You can just tell me. Just tell, how mad am I going to be about what Gage builds? Let's see what we can do today. Here's a super rare Sheehan's Advisor. I think this was like maybe played as like a tech back in the day. If this card's normal summon, why you control yeah, a six sand monster, declare a monster type. While this card is face up on the field, monsters with a declared monster type cannot declare an attack or be special summoned. I think it was primarily used for this part right here because if your opponent was playing like a mono type deck, then this was a way to like really hose them with Advisor. You could protect it as well. There were some cute things you could do. Again, it wasn't like played in mass, but it was just a spicy little card. Oh, there we go. There's one of the cards I was looking for, but unfortunately, Guys, we need multiple. There is three. Reborn Tengu. So this card is nuts. If this face up card leaves the field, special summon one Reborn Tengu from your deck. So that's the biggest issue is that we need multiple of it. Back in the 
the day, this was actually a sneak peek promo, so it was very easy to get multiple copies of this card, but pulling it out of packs is going to be a different story. If either Gager and I get just two of these, this is going to most likely almost automatically make its way into the main deck because these cards are just crazy. Having constant field presence, it's great for synchroing. This card is just nuts. And there's another super rare. It could have been the second Reborn Tengu, but unfortunately, it is TG Power Gladiator. Again, I think all of these require TG monsters, which we're probably not going to play. If it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing, and if this card on the field is destroyed, draw one card. To be fair, this is basically just Armed Wing in a level five, but I'll go ahead and stick with the Armed Wing. And if, if the luck weren't going to continue, there is an ultimate rare TG Blade Blaster. This, this motherfucker has pulled... I, what the fuck? This is just such a troll at this point. I can't believe this. Only a few packs left, ladies and gentlemen. This opening has just been ridiculous. We've gotten actually a reasonable amount of hollows, but it's been like some of the worst ones we could have possibly pulled. We have one Reborn Tengu. We could hope for a second. That would be really, really nice. There's still a chance for a tour guide. Three packs left. Let's hope for the best. And it's a super rare Sheehan's Dojo. Okay, so that's, that's definitely good. not making its way into the main deck because we're not on six, Sam. Again, it could have been a Reborn Tengu, but two packs left. Another super rare, and it's Dodger Dragon. I think this can like negate counter traps or Dodger something. Dodger Dragon. 1900 fine. on level four is okay. This normal summon card cannot be negated. After this card was normal summoned, your opponent cannot activate counter traps for the rest of that turn. Eh, that's like fine. I mean, if anything, it's just a big body that can like possibly play through some stuff. But one more pack. Please, please just. I'm not even asking for tour guide. Reborn Tengu. Just reborn Tengu, and I'll be happy. And it wasn't going to happen. Okay, well, again, you know what? I'm in the winner's circle. I'm in a good position, so I'm not complaining too much, but man, those pulls were atrocious. Oh. How many changes for CML? How many changes to the deck? There's an argument for Striker. JCD Godot, thank you for the Prime subscription. There's an argument for Striker. I think it's going to be zero. Oh my god, but let's go ahead and load up Dueling Books, see what we can do. All right, this is what we're rocking. Oh, man. Britta, 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 can't understand a word of it! So, let's just start at the beginning here. What is the fucking purpose of said in this deck? What does said do for this deck? Hmm? Just explain to me what said does for the deck. Okay? Second, what does dad do in this deck? I want to be like, Gage is only on two lights. Gage is on like three darks total. Uh-oh, it's our doggy. Yeah, she, she's, she was looking for you. Sadie, Sadie, she's in here. Sadie, come on in. Sadie. Yeah, oh, there she is. Come on. Here. You want to say hi to chat? Can I come up? Yeah, here, I'll get you out. Don't worry. Oh, you're wet. She's wet? She's a little... Cold? Oh, maybe it's the grass this day. Oh, hello. Aww. Oh, you're sniffing my food over there. Oh, nope. okay, that'll do it. Oh, look, see. Sadie, say hi to chat. Can you say hi? Whoop. That was silly. That's where my food is. That's why she's looking over there. Aw. You want to say something into the microphone? You want to get down? You want down? Okay. Ah! There you go. Hey. Oh, now I can see you. Hi, everybody. I hope you're enjoying watching MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I hope you are. Hmm. See you later, Mom. Not your mom. Hee 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 hee. All right, okay. <clears throat> so let, let's talk about this list real quick. See, the, the said, shit. The dad, also shit. The monarch stuff? Pretty based. Actually pretty based. Mm, just a little bit based. Not gonna lie. The frog synchro bullshit? Also not bad. Not terrible. Not bad at all. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. 
Um, that said, spoilers. Oh, he doesn't try to. Oh, he doesn't try to. Oh, he doesn't try to. Oh, no. Tell me he doesn't actually think these can be used for synchros. Oh, Gage. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so we've got... <laughs> got a bunch of stupid bullshit. Uh, all the synchro cards are fine. We gotta lose the sand gans and witches. They're too slow. Enemy controller. Garbage ass card. But for some reason, we've elected to play no trap stun, no mind crush. Despite the fact that we keep losing to exactly Icarus attack and K loot. Today, I'm not ready to give up on the synchro combo list. I really think it's got potential, and I think if we play it right, we might have a chance. It seems a little bad, but I decided to remove the things like my body and stuff just to cut down on space. Really, this is all just 100% gas, nothing else. So if we can open up some of the power cards... It's 100% gas, nothing else. Enemy controller. We need to draw to any of our combo pieces. We now got Tengu, TG Striker. How is how is said gas? We've got to open it. Playing around Icarus attack and stuff can be a little painful, but unless I know I'm going first, I don't want to be able to set up the trap card. Like, setting traps done on turn one is great if I can follow it up the following turn, but like trying to set traps done into an Icarus attack, it just doesn't feel like it's going to work because he can pop a two during the end phase, or you know, he can pop my two monster. It's it just, it's a mess. So we're going to try this out today. It's just full combo, kind of fuck your face in. We'll see if it ends up working out. I do think it looks pretty all right, though. Decided not to play quick draw sync on a Junk Berserker, just didn't have the space for it, but uh, I think the inclusion of the Unknown Synchro on the Striker and the Reborn Tengus, I think really might be able to push this deck to the next level. Let's see how we stack up against the Simo today. I What'd you say? What'd you all say? Zero? I'm hoping for a dub. Let me just open Painful Choice one time and make it an easy peasy game. Please. Alright, you guys, so this is the. Zero. Zero. Oh, DD Crow? Yeah, sure. Uh, you can see the side he's put in Commandant and Necro Valley. God, he's trying so hard to make this interesting. Oh, he's trying so hard to make this interesting. Deck we're bringing to today's duel, and as no surprise, we're playing almost the exact same list. This deck has just been crushing it, and honestly, the onus is kind of on Gage to be able to adapt here because yes, I'm just on a it crazy is. You're so right. So quickly yes. run through the deck. We've got two Blizzard for Synchro Place, three Bora for Piercing and just being able to swarm the field, two Gale for Swarming and being able to cut his monsters down to size, three Kalut, the absolute all star of the deck, and the reason why this deck is so good, three copies of Shura for Swarming and Soroko for being gigantic. For non Black Wings, one Cyber Dragon, one. Damn. On DD Crow, I actually did put one of these in the main deck of Gage, is on this weird Synchro deck. Crow is actually nice because he can take care of Fishboard Blaster, he can take care of all these monsters and come back from the graveyard. It also synergizes with the deck, so I think you're playing one of this maybe wouldn't be the worst. We've also got two Sangan. It could search the crow if I absolutely have to. For spells, we have a lure, triple black whirlwind, triple book of moon, one of the best defensive cards in the game, dark hole, heavy storm, pot of greed, regeki, and snatch deal, and then the traps, one bottomless, one fiendish chain, triple Icarus attack, imperial order, torrential, and vanity's emptiness. Yep, for the extra, a bunch of fusions we're never going to use because we're not playing magical scientists. Black winged dragon, black wing, armed wing, goyo guardian, two magical android, power tool dragon. We have two psychic life transfer, one kishil nadon, one copy of vortex, the whirlwind, and one. You just said that like it was nothing. Is actually Gadon. different compared to previous episodes. We still have the two breaker. I also still have the two crows. I do have three crows in total now. Thank you, Turbo Pack, for that. So if I feel that this graveyard shenanigans are getting way out of hand, I can bring in more copies. Crow it doesn't really make my deck any less consistent because it's actually a nice card for going second and will allow me to be able to synergize with cards such as Allure of Darkness and Icarus Attack. I'm still also playing the two copies of Raiko, the two Compulse, and the one Trap Dust Shoot for when I know I'm going first. And the newest addition is three copies of Gravekeeper's Commandant and three copies of Necro Valley. So the this theory is here is like a this. lot of the cards that Gage is playing in the Synchro deck that he played in the previous episode require him to move cards from yeah. the graveyard back onto the field. And Necro like Valley this. denies Gage from doing this. He's not going to be able to move stuff like Fishboard Blaster, like Glow Up Bulb, like Level Eater back. At and this is what's just so fucking boring. This is just so fucking goddamn boring is that Simo will open up the list and be like, okay, so we're literally playing a constructed deck. You just saw Gage's pulls. He's playing 18 one-ofs. Our deck is like three Icarus, three Book of Moon, three Whirlwind, three of each Blackwing. Simple as. Side deck, we are actually accounting for Gage's strategy. We know that Gage is going to manipulate the graveyard in order to bring back things like Quillbolt. Um... We know that Gage is going to uh, attempt to summon shit back from the graveyard uh, using cards that do so. We know that it's going to matter how many darks and lights are in the graveyard. So we're playing uh, Gravekeeper stuff. We're playing DD Crows in order to uh, fuck with that. Gage is just like... He's just like, okay, so we've got a bunch of shit. And then in the extra deck and side deck, we've got a bunch of shit that I, th that I thought was cool. Like, there's no plan to the stuff in the extra. You know who you are playing against. You know what their setup is. How are you going to use the stuff in the extra? Riddle me this, Batman. Simo is laying out for you how he is going to side deck. 
do the same thing. To use the effects of a card like Dark Arm Dragon. So Necro Valley is this really nice card that Gage was using against me when he was playing Grave. It's like how you see decks on Reddit, right? You go on Reddit and they're like, here's my sideboard. It's the virtual world that people don't play. The second copy of the virtual world reanimation spell. And it's like, why are you playing those? They're like, well, they didn't fit in the main. What the fuck do you mean they didn't fit in the main? If they didn't fit in the main, you're not playing them. What are you playing in the side to adapt your game plan to what your opponent is doing? And for Gage, it's like, I'm playing Cold Wave because it's a sweet card. I'm playing Confiscation in the side because it's a sweet card. I'm playing Mind Crush in case Simo plays a hand, a card in the hand that needs to be sent to the graveyard and is super telegraphed. But what are the chances of that? Keeper, it's bad because it does turn off my Blizzard, but to be mm. fair, if I see that this is becoming very problematic, I can side these in when I know he's going to force me to go first, and this way I can establish the Necro Valley and just... Meanwhile... Alex is like, I am boarding for games two and three based on when I will be going first or second. Because realistically, that's all you should have to do. Playing the beatdown swarm game, and there's going to be very little he can do. I don't think he's expecting that I'm going to play this in the side deck. So maybe it'll come up. We'll have to see. This is but so cute. And, and you know what? This is not only so cute, it is so correct. Alex, see, Mr. Simo, if you're watching this, this is a big brain fucking strategy. Thank you for using the side deck. And that's going to wrap it up for the deck. I can't wait to see what Gage brought this time around. It's time to duel. Alex, I am feeling extremely optimistic that I can pull out a victory today. After we, If Gage does not win this game. We open some extreme victory. Why did I let you go first? I, that, that's, you know what, man? That's my I, job. I knew I had to seal this one up. I knew I had to get this one before you did. Did you have something planned? Do you want to share it with the, with the audience? I did it. I did it. And that's probably about as bad as I would have come up with in the five seconds before <laughs> hitting record. So, you know what? It's fine. It's nice that you started a video for once, so it's all good. Uh, this set, this is an interesting one because I feel like it's very cruders or like knowing your luck, you probably have like three tour guides now and I'm just dead. But uh, we'll have Here to we see. Go. Yeah, even looking at the ceiling of the set, there's not like any crazy like generic synchros like we've had the last few sets. So everything is kind of like archetypal. Like what TGs? They got a lot of cards in there. Like, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Nykox37, can you PM it to me on Discord? Wonder if you got a Wonder Magician, bro. Once we get Halk, broke it. You know, it should tell you how good the TG archetype was that they did not play, like, a single Synchro in that deck for the most part. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. All the TG <laughs> monsters and, like, four of the... What are we thinking? 2-1 or 2-0? I'll... Th if, if Gage wins a game, I will cry. I will literally shed tears of happiness. A Phantom Piece, let's go. And just Gage is the fucking labor party of the progression series, right? I, if he takes a game, I'll be shocked and I'll talk about it for a decade, even if he loses the set. Just dominate everyone that way with like 40 trap cards. They didn't play a few of them, but they were playing like, you know, Halberd Cannon and like Blade Blaster and like all, whatever the cards, I don't even know. But let's go ahead and roll it, Gage. I can't wait to see what you're on because uh, you could go a myriad of different directions. You could have perfected your last strategy. I have no idea, but we got to shout out our patron. Shout outs to Rick. Uh Damn, Gage is a turf now. I'm talking about the base labor party, you know, before its current administration. Well, not the previous one either. Well, sh and not the previous one either. Yeah, not the one before that either. Not the Iraq War one. No. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, scrap this analogy. No last name, just four letters, just good old Rick. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the support. Yeah, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Uh, Rick's, Rick's Rick! coming in with a rock. Rock and Rick. <laughs> rock, and Rick. <laughs> rock and Rick always makes the decisions hard for me, though. I still don't know what's correct, man, going against your deck. I feel like the extra card is just, it's too good, but... Huh. Hmm. I think I think we'll still go second. All right, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good luck, buddy. Good, Good luck. luck. Uh, still need you're it. definitely gonna need it, so we'll just get right into it. I'm gonna. This is a terrible hand for Simo. Five monsters. No whirlwind. No K loot. I'm gonna set Sangan and get K loot. That's the only thing. That's the only thing he could do. And let me tell you this. If you can't beat this open. I don't know what you expect your deck to do. I mean, one, I've got a pretty, pretty boring turn gauge. I'm just going to set and pass. So if you have the combo, be my guest. It looks pretty good to me. I unfortunately, I don't know if I have any killer combos. Let me see what I got. Unfortunately, I don't think I have anything too wild to share with you, but. Wow. The whole deck is combo enablers. If there was an opportunity and a half, this would be it. It's how, when was the last time gauge that I just set a monster with no back row? I. <laughs> maybe last episode? I, I think you might have actually what, did it last did episode. Yeah. Oh, did I? Oh, maybe. Then. I don't know. It's, we record these a weekend after one another, so like you're right. It could have happened. I don't know. All right, man. We'll I, I like your board so much, dude. I'm going to do the same. Go ahead. All gas. All gas. Why would, why would I play Mind Crush? Alex goes, set Sangan pass. Why would I play Mind Crush? The whole deck is gas. Give me one hand that fails to produce a combo. Okay, so I'll draw. This is interesting because, so I, if I'm on the... Another bad draw. 
impression you're playing the deck you played in the previous episode. One of the actual strengths of that deck is that similar to Gravekeepers, the frogs actually have like a decent stat line and just setting something like a Ronin Toten or a Dupe Frog and uh, I think Swap Frog also has 2k defense. I'm not 100% sure though. They're all just 2k no. defenders. So it actually is like slightly difficult for me to get over. And so with that said, I need to figure out what I'm actually going to do. You can set and pass again. I think that was a killer turn one play, dude. I could. I could. I don't think I'm going to though. Let's go ahead and flip up this Sangam. Yep. I'm going to normal summon Gale. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and sync. Sure. Now the question is, what do I want to make? Like, look at this. Like, this is not the fucking synchro combo deck and already doing a million times better. Like, Armed Wing is good. Goyo is also super strong. Depending on what you set, Goyo could actually be nuts because then there's a circumstance where I could take whatever it is and then you don't have the resource for later. So I actually kind of like yeah, that. So I think Goyo. I'm going to go for the Goyo and trigger the same game. Yep, go for it. I'm going to pick up, and this is actually a new card that I'm playing, Gage. Oh, really? You got something? Let me see. It. It's not a new card from the new set, but it's a card you haven't seen me play yet, I don't believe. I'm going to pick up DD Crow. Oh, okay. No, I feel that. All right. Yeah? You like that? You like I, that? I, I, I think that's <laughs> That's correct, given the contents of the hand. <laughs> Three of them from like the turbo, what, the, uh, what, what did we open? I pulled one of them in the initial set, and then I actually pulled two of them across the turbo packs. So oh, damn, yeah. yeah, so you got a full set now. That Ronin Tony, yeah. do you want it? I do want it, 100%. All right, you can have it. Yeah, Ooh, I don't want you having that in the yeah, game, so you can send that on over. And uh, I'll just oh, pass it over to Gage. Yeah. Go ahead. And that is exactly what I like to see. I'm going to... Uh, let's go. That's exactly what I like to see. Let's see it. Activate Painful Choice. Oh! Uh off the top, ew. Yeah, that's, so that's fine. Hold right. up. At least you don't have to worry about Imperial Order. This yeah, is. right. I'm going to dump uh, Tree Kek Blood wait. Frog, Level Hold Mirror, up. Fishboard Blaster, Glow Up Bulb. Last card I'll dump is uh, Effect Veiler. Okay. That's actually interesting <gasps> because it's like... Oh my god, he has said? Out of all the things in the graveyard, like, it's okay if you get them in your hand, but Effect Veiler specifically is the one I want to leave in the graveyard because I don't want to give you that. I'm really happy I picked up this DD Crow with the Sega now that that happened. Yeah, it definitely was probably like <laughs> a really, really above average. Yeah. Danny, thanks for the 11 months. Okay, so Treeborn Frog isn't a problem until next turn. So I think I'm okay letting that stay in the grave. The question becomes Level Eater and Fishboard Blaster, I think are the two most problematic because the problem is if that I'm... they can just be used infinitely. Like Lola Bulb at least only works once, right? And then it's done. But like mm. Fishboard and Level Eater are just never going to stop. I have to put one of these in your hand. I think I'm okay with you keeping Level Eater in the grave because you don't have a monster to eat at the moment. So I think I'm going to give you the Blaster. Okay, I'll take the Blaster, no problem. Uh, I don't hate that choice there isn't really a great option there but at least okay it you know he has the dd crow if you have said you have to go for it now unfortunate this way you don't get like double use out of bulb all you're getting is like the mill resummon so i think this is okay i'm gonna try to activate that bulb is that okay I'm mill for all right last. that's fine okay. oh okay okay I, I had a feeling that you were gonna be playing the unknown sync I, I, it's not that <laughs> terrible you know what okay but now we have another so. dark I think it's, for your deck i think it's pretty good i'm gonna tribute the glow bulb oh Mobius, okay if I, it'll let me throw it on the field here there we go okay Mobius, so I'm gonna top pop your two back row that you have uh mysteriously like hiding back there yeah let me uh, let me go ahead and check those back row to see <laughs> what um what <laughs> if I want to activate anything response, you're fine. I'm going to activate Utelli. Okay, that's okay. fine. Okay, Utelli, I'm going to. We're getting an eight. The Krebs. All right, now I want to think. What do you have, Crow? Don't worry about it. Don't All worry right. about it. All right. I'll just wanna, I just want to see what I got here. Let's see what's going on. Hold take on. your time, bro. As much time yeah. as you need. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I just needed to take it all in that you might actually summon your first level eight synchro for the 39th episode of the progression <laughs> series. I don't even know what we're on now. Cool. Um, all right. You're just like, I didn't think I'd get this. I, I didn't think I would, honestly. So I've never summoned a level eight. So this is this is monumental right here. Um, oh, so many choices, too. You have a lot of good eights, too. <laughs> I have a feeling this one just might be the best, though. I'm going to plot Scrap Dragon. Okay, sure. I'm going to activate level eight. I'm going to eat up. This doesn't even trade with Goya. Oh, that's crap. oh, I see where this is going. Let me think about that. So if you get the level eater, then that allows you to then just pop the eater, pop one of my dudes. I'm kind of worried about that though. Kind of, that's actually pretty good. Scrap Dragon's a once per turn, so you're not gonna be doing that multiple times. Even if I stop this, you can just play any card and get the same result. So I think if I'm gonna focus more on the long game, I think I'm gonna let this go. I'll probably regret- Why would you not crow level eater? Why would you not crow level eater? What the fuck? That's the scariest card in the world. I did, but level eater's fine. All right, dope. Eater's gonna summon. I'm gonna activate yep. Scrap Dragon. I'm gonna pop your Goyo. Figured as much. Cool. I'm gonna go battle phase. I'm gonna uh, attack into over the Toad. Yep. Mean to. I'll eat again. I'll summon level eater. 
Sure. And uh, I will pass turn. Go ahead, dude. Okay. So you still got the Why two are you letting this happen? Turn. Rodent Toten can also potentially be a problem later. Okay. Uh, not the worst. I'll go ahead and draw. We've got a very interesting game going on here, Gage. Oh, this it's is definitely it. interesting. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's stuff. over. We got the first level eight in the entire progression series. Yeah. It's, 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 I didn't think it was going to be Scrap Dragon of all things, but, you know, it's, it's cool that that has finally uh, made its way onto the field. All right. I'm going to go ahead and normal summon Ashura. Sure. I'm going to it's special over. summon Abora. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and head to the battle phase. Yep. I'm going to hit into your level eater with my Bora. Yeah, I'm going to take piercing, 17. That's a lot. Yep. That nice zero defense. Thank you, level eater. And then Shura over the Scrap Dragon. Boy, yeah. mind crush. You know what's coming. Your favorite yeah, card. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> lay it on me. Yep. So Kalut's coming down. You're going to take 400 from this. Okay. Trigger the Shura. I'll just grab a Gale. Okay. And uh, we'll hit you for the 13 with a Gale. Okay. And I'm just going to pass on that. Go ahead, buddy. Draw. Stand by me. Oh, well, stand by. I'm going to go Frog. Treeborn Frog is fine. I'm going to summon Fishboard Blaster. That is fine. I'm going to synchro these two off. Here comes the formula. Yep. I'm going to formulate. Go ahead and formulate. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait for him to hover Shora, but I thought it was defense. I'm going to discard a Nimble Sunfish to special summon Swap Frog, and I'm going to activate Swap Frog. That's Off fine. the top. Off of Swap Frog, I'm going to dump a Doom. It's not. Okay. Sure. I'm going to activate Ronin Tonin. I'm going to banish Doom Frog. Where's that game? That's fine. You got oh, a crow here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I got to think. I'm going to activate Fishboard. We have what? Fishborg and Grave, so it's... Discord Blaster, I'm going to Discord Quillbolt Hedgehog from my hand. Oh, that's mm, crazy. It had to be Quillbolt Hedgehog of all things. Kind of a good card, you know? I wish that I would have had a painful choice, but... <sighs> that's... Oh, man, that's a problem. Oh, that's rough. I'm actually going to allow you to summon the Fishboard Blaster. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. I'll pick him up. Board's getting a little big. Um, Dude, board's getting pretty big. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> I'll like to make Quillbolt. Okay, this I'm going to crow. That's fine. Yeah. I'm going to Synchro for six. Can't use Ronin Toten as Synchro material, my friend. Are you shitting me? It's the first line of text. Bro, no! <laughs> it's the first line on the card. It's the first line on the card. It's not even an effect. It's a condition. Cannot be used as synchro material oh my god dude i thought these cards were better <laughs> yo that's so fucked up no way now you know why i was thinking so methodically about this i yeah i, I was like, like yo he's gonna let me make goyo it's gonna be too easy and now i'm just like what do i fucking do <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Oh, I wasn't sure if you no. knew that or not. And no, I was like, I, I'm like, if you outplay me, like, feel free. But I feel like no. that was correct. And you want to you wanna know the worst thing, too? When I was doing testing and stuff, I totally thought I could sync over Ronin Tonin. That was like oh, where really? my plays came from. I was like, yo, substitute. Oh. I don't know if I can watch the rest of this, man. I don't know if I can watch the rest of this, man. Holy fuck. When you referred to Substitute combos last time, the Nia Jane, thank you for the subscription. I, th I thought that he meant... I didn't think he meant it was a synchro combo. I was like, oh, maybe Substitute makes Scrap Dragon. You can Ronin back and then pop with Scrap. I'll keep watching because we're going to try and get to a thousand. If we get to a thousand, I will come. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh, uh -oh, indeed. Oh, fuck me, dude. Um... <laughs> oh. <laughs>
was fucking born! But not like this, dude, Gage. Not, not like, like this, this, bro. Oh, <laughs> man, dude, I oh, got man. so excited. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm so sorry. Just in case, I'm going to Gale down your Roby. Just in case. Okay, I'm going to tribute Gale for sure. Just in case, yeah. I'm Sorobo going to on Gale Bora, it down your Roby. So it'll your be 5,500. And then a uh, battle phase pierce into blaster. Just in case. Wow, that just happened. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Oh, my God, dude. Holy shit. What can he do? His entire strategy, his entire strategy revolved around resolving this. What can he possibly do in game two? Ow. Why, why, why are we watching game two? There's no way he wins. There's no way he wins. He, his deck doesn't do anything. It's full of cards that he can't use to synchro summon that he thought that he could use to synchro summon. The remaining 16 minutes of this game are just going to be agony watching Nim set a fucking Ronin Toten and pass over and over again. I thought I was on one for this deck list, bro. And then now you just had to go and shatter my dreams, dude. I still think it's recoverable. <laughs> Don't worry. I don't think I'm like in a losing spot. But like, that is embarrassing, dude. I thought oh, I could synchro with that Ronin Toten. How did that never come up? Did that just like never come up in the game or something like that? To be fair, like you did everything in that game up to that point without Ronin Toten, right? And so yeah. like, you can still use Ronin Toten to like tribute for the Monarch. So like, there's still utility for it. So you wouldn't have to like, let's say, burn Glow Up Bulb to sack for Mobius, right? Mm -hmm. So there's still some interactions oh, there. I don't know. I mean, oh I still boy. think the deck's cool. So we'll have to see if it can maybe actually nab a game. Okay. I was saying to people before, I lost two games with Black Wings before I started. Can we at least see the fucking cool ass board plan can we see the the sweet fucking board plan been winning so mm -hmm. at the same time maybe that's just like the same sort of luck but uh good luck to you it looks like you're making me go first and uh this game's gonna be a little bit different than the other one because this time i do in fact actually have some back row i'm going to set them and i'll pass it over all right sounds like a plan i will draw all right let's see here i'll start my turn by just setting a card and i will just uh i'll pass it over to you Duel. let's go ahead riveting gameplay i know riveting insane, gameplay. Dude, right? i'll draw and wow that was insane actually and that's just it right that's just it game's already over don't need to watch another second of this you know what's gonna happen black whirlwing Normal blue flame, get Kalut, special Bora. Blue flame into the set card, Kalut and damage stuff if it's not big enough already. Get a Gale from deck, Bora direct. Shura and the tuner for a synchro. That's just it. There's nothing you can do about it. Gage doesn't have any sweepers in his deck, doesn't have any interaction, doesn't have a mind crush to prevent this, doesn't have spell and trap destruction to stop the black whirlwind, doesn't have back row removal, doesn't have traps done. Nothing he can do. Uh, there, there's, there's, there, there's just no. There, I, what, what do you want him to do? Actually, I'll activate Black World. <laughs> uh, yep. It's your favorite card, Gage. Yeah, I'll bring right. out Shura. Oh my lord. Yeah, that was. <laughs> it's set or bust. It's set or bust. Pretty all right, huh? Yeah, trigger the Black Whirlwind. Yep. We're going to go dig in. I feel as though I'm in a similar predicament as before where yeah, you, where you won a the game. thousand defense monster that I can't hit over, and I don't exactly know what to do about that. So I'm going to grab a Kalut. Okay. I'm going to go to battle. Let's hit into this, see what it is. Okay, it's actually Sangin. Ooh, okay. Trigger that Sangin. Yeah, sure. So you're going to trigger Sangin. I'm going to trigger Shura, which you're chain like one, I'm chain two. I'm just going to simply grab a Gale, and uh, you can get your Sangin surge. I'm going to pick up Substitute. Words I never like to hear. I didn't <laughs> even go 13. with Bora. 13's okay. Why? God. Why would you? Uh, go ahead. Not much more I can do. And now I have to worry about that. Not even going into a synchro. Fuck it. No reason to. Disaster of a card. Oh, yeah. It's a fun card. Uh, I'm going to activate reasoning. Speaking of fun cards, okay. Your deck has almost every level in the game. You have ones, you have twos. Got to be one here. You have threes. You definitely have fours because you're playing Witch. I Actually, it doesn't have to be one because the one staying in the graveyard is fine. I think four is probably the pick. I don't know if you, you have a Cyber Dragon, maybe, but that's like, I don't think I have to worry about five. You're also playing Monarch, so like six is maybe a consideration, but I don't it's know how to It's all over playing. the place, bro. Whatever you pick, it's not going to end pretty. And the thing is, even if it goes to the graveyard, then it most likely will have some sort of effect that will trigger in the graveyard to bring itself back or something. So it's like Let's all upside for you. Um, What am I most afraid of? I feel like you have a lot Witch. of choose because you have Swap Frog, Duke Frog, Ronin Toten. So oh, I'm that's not two. bad either. Okay. I think yeah, that might be the best good. chance to hit. And a couple of those don't do. Oh! <laughs> I hate this game, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, you are so lucky it hurts. Oh my god. I don't know if that was luck, really. That was no, a pretty calculated dude, call. That was extreme luck. If you would have saw my hand right now, you would realize how wrong you are. Oh man. Oh, okay. Why does he think that? What could possibly in the be in the hand where that was high impact? This motherfucker has two cards set. If either of them are anything relevant, you lose. Book. Icarus Attack, Torrential, Vanities, Imperial Order. There's not a single set spell trap that does not lose you the game right now. Hey, I mean, you still have two back row to worry about, to be fair. Damn, so. bro. Um, How detrimental was not getting that Duke Frog? It, it didn't feel good, let me tell you that. It did not okay, feel great. Okay. I'm going to use the Tricky. I'm going to discard Fishing oh. Blaster to summon him. Oh. Hold up. 
Oh, you have another five. This I think is you good. mentioned this in the end of the last episode that you were playing this. Okay. Uh, not much I can do about that. Sure. Yugi Moto would be quite proud, Gage. Oh, he would be. Um, how bad does this end up for me? What did you add with Black Whirlwind? I added Kalut. You added Kalut. Fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't escape that shit, dude. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I think you much preferred the last game where my opening hand was like double Shura, Soroko, and like other cards that like weren't good. It was just all monsters, and like, I can only play one card a turn. <laughs> okay, if I do that, I'm gonna normal summon Substitute. And now I must think, because this card is banned for a reason. Uh. So if you're Simo and you Torrential here, you win the game. Right? I feel like I have to. I'm just gonna Book of Moon Substitute. Also wins the game. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And I know you have Kalut too, bro. Come on. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to force you to use it. Go ahead and use your Kalut. Hmm. Unless you want this to is man. You can let the guild. This go is this. I was gonna say this is interesting because so if I use the Kalut here, it actually makes it more difficult for me to out your substitute. So I'm actually going to let the Gale go, okay. and I'll take seven. Calculated. I, I'll go main phase two, <laughs> uh, and I'll just uh, fuck. I don't like this. I'm just gonna end my turn. Go ahead. You are not expecting that to happen. No. <laughs> Gage is just playing a pre-release deck. He's just playing it. This is this is a play that would lose the game in any pre-release format in the last two decades. Oh, <laughs> Gage, it's just a better version that never existed. Uh, it's just a better version that uh, never yeah, existed. Yeah, I got it Wait, can I flip my IO? Is it my turn? Uh, no, it's not your turn, oh, unfortunately. Man. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Okay, if it makes you feel any better, half of them were bad. So one out of the two. Okay, okay. Oh, correct, <laughs> correct, correct. So now I have to deal with this substitute because that's that's I can't let that flip up. That's gonna be a problem. It's not super clean but I think we have to go for it. So I'm going to bring out another Shura, Trigger okay. Whirlwind. Okay. I'm going to get another Kalut. Go for it. Nice. I'm going to special out a Bora. How is yeah, this battle, not clean? I'm going to this hit into like Substitute the with end Bora of the game. and activate Kalut and damage them. Sure, so I'm going to take... This will be 1100 because Bora goes up to 31 from the Kalut. Okay. And Substitute is 2k. I'm going to hit into Tricky, Kalut again. Yep. So you're going to take 1200 from this. Okay. Trigger Shura, which is not enough. We're really close. And then I'm going to hit you with Shura and Gale for 31. Okay. And then I'll head over to main two. I'll set myself a card and uh, good luck, buddy. That's it. Wow. I'll set a card. Oh, oh, bro. No, uh, why do you like feel bad age. for me, man, dude? I can't believe it. I thought this deck was so hot shit. It is actually just hot shit. It's literally hot shit. <laughs> but I can't, I can't even broke out. Uh, is the Ronin Tone thing really like messing with it that bad? It, not really. It's just I, I can't get the right curve of cards, I guess. I don't know oh, what it is, bro. Oh, no. What do you think it is? Why do you think he can't get the right curve of cards? Just one, one more question. One, just a quick one, right? Why do you think Gage can't get the right curve of cards in his deck? Why do you think that might be? Anyone have any? Just, you know, just throw just just throw out anything here. Throw out anything here. Just, and anything at all in chat. Why do you think it is it is difficult for Gage to find the right hand? Too much gas. That's it. Yep. I got Tengu. I'll set a call. Oh, oh, bro. No. Uh, why do you like feel bad age. for me, man, dude? I can't believe it. I thought this deck was so hot shit. It is actually just hot shit. It's literally hot shit. <laughs> but I can't, I can't even broke out. Uh, is the Ronin Tone thing really, like, messing with it that bad? It, not really. It's just I, I can't get the right curve of cards, I guess. I don't know oh, what it is, Oh, no. All can right, you clean well, it up? I think so. We'll have to see, of can course. Can you I'm clean just it up? Off this yeah, I for think so. Oh, that definitely 1,000. Trigger the Black doesn't. Whirlwind. Stop. That thing is fucking... <laughs> wow, bro. Oh, so, my God. Just for the record, this would have made the Bora a 36, 56, 66, 73, 83, 8,700 damage with piercing, if that Holy can help. That thing was fucking <laughs> big, bro. Can I just point oh, out you yeah, have 1K view? Really I, don't I don't think we do. Oh, you didn't get I don't think we do. Oh, I did man. not get a single one. So, no, because it's a rare, isn't it? It is, yes. What was this? What's what was this? It was it's a tango. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, that's just it, right? That's just it. I mean, what the fuck are we... Yeah, I'll, I'll watch the Farfa reaction. Absolutely. Oh, I hate the series. I hate this series. This series is garbage. This should just be deleted from YouTube. It's not a good series anymore. This is terrible. No one should watch this. Stop watching. Stop supporting this series. It's terrible. I hate it. Every week I shoot it and this shit happens. Gage does some dumb fuck play and then Simo sacks him with his one-offs because his deck is just better. I hate this series so much, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's still better than Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh, though, right? We can all agree it's it's still better than Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> uh.
Okay. Yeah, so, I, I mean, the thing is, with the set, I think I put okay. I got two strikers, and I also actually, wow. I actually got two Tengu. Wow, so, I got one! I, yeah, like, I, I pulled the first one, like, midway through, and I'm like, please let me get a second one, and it didn't happen. I no, I got, the, I got the first one in pack three, and then I got the second one in pack number four. I was like, that's kind of just good luck right wow. there. Wow, so, yeah, that's crazy. Destined to play the Tengu, but it, I, it didn't come clutch. I didn't get the Tengu. Dude, I don't... Oh, man, that's so frustrating. I didn't want to get 2 0 this episode. I thought I could have did so much more. What were your other two back row? I was more scared of than Book of Moon. I knew I would have just auto lost to Icarus attack. That's a thing. Well, it's funny you mentioned IO because that was off the uh, pot of greed. What is this? Uh, I had a Torrential as the last resort, and then I actually drew an Icarus attack return. Yeah, so, well, I, mean, I was I, I was like just terrified of Icarus attack. I was like, I, I 100% just auto lose if you activated Icarus attack at any point there. Right. I mean, it's just, it's such an impactful card. It's just able to completely swing games in a very unfavorable direction for you unless you specifically have the traps under the my body. I it's guess just so we're listening to this. Damn, dude, I thought it was onto something. I don't think this deck is there yet, though. It was, it was fun to test out with. I had some cool, like, Combos and everything, but it's just, uh, it's just, I can't beat the Kalu. It's really just Kalu, is what it is, because no matter what synchro I summon, it's just not gonna be, ever be big enough to like. Sur Gage, I'm gonna kill you. You can't say shit like this. How I'll do you agree. get. CJX, thank you for the $2. Stan Him Himbo Progression Monomena Gay series? Sure. I, how do you. How do you get to this point every episode? Get to the end, you go, it's just Kalu. It's just Kalu. It's just Kalu. It's just Kalu, dude. It's just Kalu. Number one. No, it fucking is not. It absolutely is not. And two, we've got outs to Kalut that we are not playing. Revive a Kalut. It's funny because in the last game when you summoned the Scrap Dragon, I was like, oh, please summon Stardust Dragon so I can Kalut over Yeah, this. right, please. right, yeah. no, yeah. right? <laughs> You're right, it's like... Uh, Space Dandy, I saw your message. Um, it said it was delivered. Was it not delivered to you? Because if not, I'll contact them. That means it went back to them. And now we have to... I have to send it again. I This card is just absurd. Cool. This solves, like, every problem imaginable. And it's like the Black Wing's already beefy enough as it is, you know? Like, sure is 18, Bora's 17, and then you have Icarus attack and all this. And it's like, what do you really have I, to worry about most of the time? And also, you don't know if I have it I in my hand unless I specifically there. search it, you know? Mm -hmm. Where, like, at least with the trap cards and the Book of Moons, you know they're it back was returned there, so there's to no New York. I'll make Danny go get it. I can just have a single card in my hand, and you don't me. know what it is, and it's Kalut, and that, that could just lose you the game automatically. It's yep. just, it's such a game-warping card. This I just cannot believe how good this card is. You said, huh? I can't believe you sealed it up again. I need to switch something up next episode again, too. Yeah, you so do, for dude. my pulls, oh, oh my god. So the trend of Simo pulling the worst a ghost rares system. continues because I got a ghost rare Maybe. junk berserker. First edition, no, by wait, the way. No, no way, dude. I actually think yeah. I actually think I got two ghost rare. Re <laughs> yeah, I got two ghost rare junk berserkers, bro. That's crazy, man. I'm like, I just wanted a Tengu. I just wanted a tour guide. Maybe at the most, maybe at the most, but no, no, we get a junk berserker. I also got the both of the high level TG synchros, and I got Whoa. two of one of them. One of them was an ultimate rare, and Whoa. one was the ultra. Man, you should and play I, those I, TGs, dude, without striker. <laughs> yeah, without striker, even even better. Yeah, oh my god. I'm just like, I mean, to be fair, I don't need it. We're on tournament pack five now, in case you didn't know, and I didn't pull anything good. Okay. I got a couple Manjus, I got a couple royal commands, which I guess if you were on Gravekeeper would actually be kind of good. The, the DD Crows were, uh, that one DD Crow I had, I was actually only main decking one, because uh, I figured I could search it with Sangen, funny enough. But then in the second game, I actually sided in two more, because I, I was like, I'm like, wow, this card's actually really good against your deck. <laughs> yeah, so, that was nice. Oh, yeah. the, the one thing I was going to do, but I actually decided not to do it because I. Does anyone have any progression the memes they want to send me? In triple, just not just in, send in them over. I had triple Commandant, triple Necro Valley because I thought to myself, send me a Necro PM. Actually, just shits on your link deck them in because chat. then you can't bring all these care. cards back from the graveyard. The yeah. problem is we've been playing by older school like text, and Necro Valley's had like nine erratas, right? And so the thing with Necro Valley is how it used to work is that monsters that could special summon themselves from the graveyard were actually able to work under Necro Valley, and so I remembered that, and I'm like, oh, I, I mean, I mean, like, yeah, I don't think it was just. I, I don't like, want to hear this. I'm sorry. He likes Schooner, Gazin, Brother Paul, Benjamin Fuller. <sighs> CJ Alex just linked twitter.com slash notifications. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we saw this one. So... <laughs> it's over isn't it isn't it isn't it over it's over isn't it <laughs> isn't it isn't it over you didn't read fucking ronin toden This is a DMCA. Uh, no, I'll, I'll take Chalice Slime questions here, for sure. I left an awful one in your Discord DMs? Okay, let's check it. 
Nico, I don't... Nico, if you're still here, I don't know what to tell you. This list is, like... It's a little sus because I don't think he has three Mind Crush, but this is it. I mean, this would win. 100%. Oh, fuck. Hold up. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Watch the first few seconds of this. Okay. <laughs> Another banger out of Mambo. Mambo's so good. God, he's so funny. The one thing I would say... Mambo, you have to end your videos. This is how this video ends. Ring for lethal. Yeah! That's it. It's funny. But. Uh... I just want to show you real quick what Nico SV sent me. Nico SV, like, we don't even have to do the deck. So, you know, sometimes we, when this happens, we're like, oh, we get brainstorming. We're like, ooh, what could we make gauge play? What could we make gauge play? It doesn't matter. None of this matters. We could build gauge Wattlock. We could build gauge whatever. It's not going to matter. Here it is. This is the list. This list is fantastic. It's so good. Like, it's, it's insane. Doesn't matter. Won't get played. That's it. It actually looks like a constructed list. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. <laughs> looks decent, but add a couple Ronin Toten. <sighs> Does he have the cards to play this? Yeah. <laughs> ah, I hate the series. We saw this already. Here's here's what I'll say about the series. And you know, here's here's gonna be my viral clip. Here's my viral clip, you guys. This is gonna be my viral clip where I talk shit on on Alexander Simo and Gage Nim Nim. This is it. This is my viral clip. Are you all prepared? They just don't know how to deck build for limited. That's it. That's the entire problem. They have no fucking clue. How to deck build for limited. And it is so goddamn frustrating. The point of the progression series, and I know I'm saying this as someone who didn't invent the progression series, so I'm kind of ascribing a value to it that it might not have. But in my mind, the point of the progression series is for a bunch of really bad cards to slowly transform into what might be considered a playable deck. That's how limited deck building works. There are cards that are good in Constructed, and there are cards that are good in Limited. Sometimes the two converge, but more often than not, the cards that are good in Constructed aren't necessarily the cards that are good in Limited. That's impossible to marry with the way Yu-Gi-Oh! prints packs, okay? It's decent, you can do it for all of DM, but for GX on, each set contains an archetype that is out of the box playable and found in a singular pack at high rarity, and an archetype that is out of the box playable and, and in a single pack at low rarity. And if the low rarity archetype is good, and you pull all of it, you will have a more cohesive, consistent deck than your opponent from the beginning of the series, when you pull it, to the end of fucking time! And that's where we are. Get Fukuyama in here because this is the end of history. This is the last man. It's Kalut. <laughs> we're, we're watching Nim Nim degrade in real time trying to build a constructed deck while he only has one Fishborg Blaster. He only has one Tricky. He only has two Mind Crush. He'll never be able to do it ever. So this is going to continue every single week until Blackwing is power crept. That's what's going to end Blackwing's reign. It's going to be power crept out of the format. That's what will finally end it. It'll be sometime in Zexel, and Nim Nim will open a fucking Performa Pal deck out of the box, and we'll finally get to play Yu-Gi-Oh again. That's it. That's that's the only scenario in which we we finally are free of this. 
because there is no way he will ever be able to build anything cohesive enough to challenge this deck. There is no way his deck will ever have the staples that Simos does. No Pot of Greed ever, you know, uh, no Raigeki ever, uh, no Triple Book of Moon, none of the uh, powerful spell traps. That's it. That's just it. The extremely powerful one ofs will always be the backbone of whatever the most consistent strategy Simo has access to is going to be. In fact, let's let's actually see how long this is going to take. Let's see how long this is going to take, okay? We're an extreme victory, right? What we need is a low rarity archetype that is out of the box playable. TG, I thought, might have happened, right? Okay, Generation Force. What's in here? Gear Guiano, Windup, Crash Bug, Keeper, Gusto, Gishki, Laval. A any of those include support. You can just write off because he doesn't have the rest of them. None of this is enough. Photon Shockwave. Let's try Photon Shockwave. What do we have? Galaxy, Galaxy Eyes, Photon, Evol. Not enough. Order of Chaos. Insector. Insector might do it. Let's scroll down. What is the rarity for Insector? Common, common, rare, ultra rare for Gigamantis. That's it. Impossible to play. You need three Gigamantis to play the deck. Next. Galactic Overlord. Bouncer, Butter Spy, Hieratic, Photon, Gagaga, -ga -ga, Insector. Not enough. Return of the Duelist. Chronomaly, Heroic, Madolce, Prophecy, Hunter. What's the rarity on Madolce? If he pulls a Pudding Cess, we might get out of it here. That's it. If he pulls a Pudding Cess, we might get out of it here. Until then, we've got no fucking chance. We've got no fucking chance. You don't need three Gigamantis. You need at minimum one, but you probably need two. Hmm. God. Dino Rabbit? <laughs> you gotta be fucking joking me. Dino Rabbit? How the fuck are you playing Dino Rabbit in this format? Yeah, someone fire off points. I'm too depressed to do it. We have already passed Rabbit. It is a secret. The good part about Dino Rabbit is both the Xyz, which are impossible to pull, and the trap cards, of which Gage has one Fiendish Chain. What do we do? When was Starlight Road released? Side set. We will never get Starlight Road. Abyss Rising. Heraldic Beast, Mermail, Duston, Abyss, Gagaga, Heroic. This is it. This is my... I'm, I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right the fuck now. With no changes from Simo, the first one of these that Gage will win is Abyss Rising. Gorgonic. Gorgonic is a common archetype. I mean, you're out of your goddamn mind. You people are as 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 out of this as Gage is. Show me a Gorgonic deck that beats this fucking deck. Show me a Gorgonic deck that beats this fucking deck. Hell, show me a deck that was printed in 2014, 15, or 16 that beats this deck. This is insane. Cosmo Blazer. Yeah, we'll do it by here. I'm revising it. Cosmo Blazer is going to be the first win for Gage. It's going to be on the back of something fucking stupid like Fire Fist. That's it. That's the only way it can happen. Can't be Fire Fist. Uh, maybe it can. 
No, it can't. You need three bear. Need three bear. Nope. Hazy? I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it happening. Like, ever. I just don't see it. It would have to be... When does Battle and Boxer come out? Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy? Yeah. Battle and Boxer is a... An all-low rarity Xyz spam deck. This will be when it happens. Yeah. Oh, man. Dragon rulers are rare and baby dragons are commons. Oh, so you didn't play dragon ruler format? What are you making with those rulers? You pull a Dracosack? There were really only two rank sevens. And uh, the way that their format works, you can only play one of each ruler. This is a good call. I think this is the only way you're realistically going to do it. And, you know, make no mistake, we we could have we could also just we could also just fucking lose with this deck. This might not be enough, you know. At the end of the day, this doesn't beat Raigeki. This doesn't beat um Quintuple Kalu. This doesn't beat a resolved Goyo Guardian, you know. Doesn't beat Imperial Order. Doesn't beat Dark Hole. Doesn't beat Snatch Deal. But this is this is what we have to play. This is the only way we win the game is we play some fucking bullshit like this with triple consecrated light main. I just don't know. Cuz cuz every time I think I have figured out what is making this unplayably bad for Gage, I I come up with something else, right? I want to be like the issue is the rarity imbalance, right? Like Gage will never have a constructed deck like Alex does. And I'm like, well, the response to that is we play a deck that is teched extremely hard for Blackwing. No, okay, here. This is going to be this is going to be my viral clip, okay? Here's my viral clip, okay? Here it is. Are you prepared? Here's my viral clip that we can put on r slash Yu-Gi-Oh! And it can be get removed just like Ram Ram Ranch did. Every single time I think I figure out what the problem is, I remember that there are other issues, right? So, like, we'll start and it's, oh, well, Gage can't beat the constructed deck. So... The way to beat that is to tech extremely hard against the constructed deck. But then you think, oh, well, Gage can't beat the powerful staples. So the way to beat that is to overbuild to beat like Raigeki and Dark Hole and Snatch Deal and bullshit. And then you think, oh, Gage's deck isn't as consistent. But that's because we're oversiding for the really powerful one of staples and trying to put side cards in our main board for the consistent deck that Simo's playing. The unfortunate truth is, I just don't see a fucking way, way out for Gage. And he's not doing himself any favors by deck building in a way that shows off that he's just not good at combo. <laughs> right? 
at, at the end of the day, we could do all this stuff perfectly, but there's still only maybe a 30% chance that he walks with it. Because he's got to play the deck extremely well, which is hard to do, especially when your opponent is well-practiced in their list because they've had 10 weeks of playing it. And he's got to not run into the specific counter for whatever he's drawn. If he doesn't draw my body, his opponent can't draw Dark Hole. If he does draw my body, his opponent has to pull Raigeki and not Snatch Steal. I don't know, man. I just don't know. I don't know what we can do. And every week, we got to tune in and watch Simo open up the fucking tournament pack and be like, I hope I pull this deck that makes my, this card that makes my deck better. It's like, I hope you do too, dude. <laughs> I hope you do too. This is fine too. This is a decent list. I like it a little less for sure, but it's not the worst thing in the world. They're both fucking better than what we saw. It's the first line of text on the card. I feel like by this point, Gage should at least mainboard Mind Crush if K Loot has been a problem for so long. It's really sad when you see Simo doesn't need spells or traps to win at this point. That opening was five monsters and he drew a sixth monster. Man, this series used to be one of the highlights of my week, but now I have to wonder how many more times I can come back looking for a good time just to feel depressed. Seeing Dad and Sed in Gage's deck is so infuriating. Dude, come on. But what can you say about it, right? Is Dad and Sed the problem? Should he cut Dad and Sed? Maybe. Maybe. Then he has nothing to beat back Alex's unreal slew of extremely powerful spells and traps. He's putting these huge high rolls in because he can't win otherwise, but he can't win with them either because they're never activatable. <laughs> this one's mean. I love how fitting the title of the show is. You could really see how these decks evolve and progress every episode. Simo made one whole change in his main deck. <laughs> Keep up the good work, guys. Watch Engage remove my body instead of Sed and Dad. Check your Discord DM, sure. Bro, you know he plays right. Geki. Dark Hole, Icarus Attack, Torrential Tribute. Damn, I am at a point where I am not even watching anymore after the deck building. Just a quick look in the comments to verify my assumption that Gage lost again. It's sad. Not only is Simo still hyping him up for no reason, his deck is getting worse. Maybe because he is too fixed on this and can't think straight. Maybe because his okay. card pool is way worse. Either way, I hope it gets better. DJB BJW, thank you for the subscription. Will Nim finally play a Wattlock? I swear to God, that's at, at minimum just to satiate people. Did we ever build Wattlock for him? We didn't because his card pool sucked. Why isn't Gage main decking Mind Crush? Alex has been playing the same deck for weeks. 
When does Watt Cobra come out? Calgary. How many of those times Gage sets one past? Do you think it's because he had fucking said and dad stinking up his hand? I wish we could see his hand. Oh, man. Chibi, where are you? This is an insane list. Chibi just sent me this. He says, I'm playing this in a progression tag series. Look at this. This is just Gladiator Beast. I was asking about... Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Uh, per turn time limits. Uh, we're going to keep them at 240. Oh, this is crazy. MBT is going to have a field day with this. Who said that? Oh, is this on here? Oh, I don't see it. Photon shock. You passed it. Calgary. I'm I'm gonna type it. Control F. <laughs> well, is this done uploading yet? It is. Cool. means I can uh, switch accounts. I want to reply. There we go. All right, I'm, um, oh, wow, this one took off. Oh, this is when I played that fucking terrible one. Uh, he has history in a playlist, right? Did some of these randomly take off for no reason? I want to actually look at the playlist. Thank you. It did not. They, I, I can't see the fucking view counts. Thank you. Uh, okay. Could you spare us an ad, MBT? Yeah, I'm going to spare you an ad. I'm going to get something to nosh on. Some kind of sweet treat. I'm going to get some uh, water. When we come back, uh, we're going to do a couple of things. Um, we are going to pre-build for next week's progression playoff. I'm really excited about it. It's got the Dark Worlds, and I want to kind of explore what might be good or bad. Uh, I want to build Wattlock for Gage at minimum, and I can send it to him alongside the, uh, the list that I was handed. And uh, we might actually play some Yu-Gi-Oh too. Do you want to do that? I think I owe Chibi Gohan a Duel Links game. No, no, oh, maybe not then. <laughs> hard leg sounds good. What about hard leg? Oh, and by the way, I mean, I know everyone's ripping off progression, right? I mean, let's as as frustrating as progression is uh, to watch sometimes. We're all ripping it off because it's fucking good. Hard legs progression ripoff. Uh, chaos draft. This is so fucking fun. It's so fun. It's a, it is a it is a blast. Uh, if hard legs still here, hard leg. This this series is so fucking fun. The first one's a little rough, just because you're like finding your uh your sea legs. It has gotten to a really, really interesting place. And look at this board state. It's fun. Hmm. <sighs> Can we watch a 10 minute testing? Yeah, I'll put on a 10 minute testing while I go get, while I play an ad. Here we go, ready? There you go. I'm Jank Enthusiasts, I'm MBT, and this is 10 minute testing. Rise right. of the Duelist contains a lot of tools for older decks aiming to frustrate an entirely new generation of players. In for noble oh wait, it's, it's, a, it's, it's Nordic track. We're picking, uh, we're picking desert. Anything with an extra deck. 
but there remains one card, one stellar boost to an otherwise unplayable archetype that's received a strikingly low amount of time in the spotlight. Today we'll be looking at Edge Imp Scythe and the deck it enables, Fluffle. Before we begin, if you're on the fence about subscribing, let me sweeten the pot for you. Click that little button below the video and I'll make sure the new tin promos are extremely playable in Dark Magician. So here's the list, and before you start calling me racial slurs for my ratios, keep in mind one important detail. I'm not very good at deck building. As always, I'll give you a background about the archetype, a little bit of a discussion about what I hope the deck can do, and of course, the card by card. But first, this video is sponsored by Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Deck. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Deck is an online strategy site for our mutual favorite card game. It's got a deck builder, card database, and a wealth of strategy articles. It's also where I post the deck breakdowns for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Quarantine series, so give it a look at www.ygoprodeck.com. Now let's fiddle with Fluffle. Fluffle is shorthand for the fusion summoning deck that marries the exceptionally cute stuffed animal archetype with which it shares its name with the horrifying and indescribably fearsome Edge Imp archetype. The Fluffles, by way of dog, bear, and wings, set up gotcha levels of resources in hand, which can be used alongside the Edge Imps to summon powerful monsters that pop, send, and repeatedly run over the opponent's monsters. Unfortunately, this deck faces a single serious problem. It wants to blind second. Because we live in 2020, of course, you can finagle reasonable boards on the play by committing massive main deck resources to win the setups, but no serious deck is losing to that these days. It's in Fluffles' nature to OTK, and without the tools to do so, it faded into almost complete obscurity. Until, like, a week ago. Fluffle Scythe is the most apologetic card that's ever been printed. Konami couldn't have telegraphed, we're sorry, anymore unless the card came pre-packaged with a teary YouTube cancel response. Oh, uh, speaking of, I am so sorry for calling DM players greedy babies during the team reveals. I hope that you can all forgive me. Anyway... Scythe allows you to fusion summon on your opponent. Alright, good. We made it to the list. Um... Yeah, this was a different mic setup. This is a completely different shirt. We should describe this list. It looks pretty good. Ready? Oh, you re you ready to uh you ready to hear what I have to say about this list? You might not want to hear it. You might not want to hear it. Chat might not be ready for this uh this hard truth. You ready to hear? You ready to hear some about this list? This list is still legal. Oh, you motherfuckers wanted to play VFD, and here we are. Hmm. 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 Oh, let's watch this for sure. You got trades? New sleeves. What do you think? Bands and error resets looking smart now, boy. DJB, JW, thank you for the thousand bits. Whoa, very nice. Look at that. Just picked them up from the shop yesterday. Good coloring. That's bone, and the texture is something called a dragon shield. It's a very cool mambo, but that's nothing. Look at this. That is really nice. Eggshell, ultra pro with a matte finish. What do you think? Nice. That is really super. Not an extra scrub like you get so tasteful. <laughs> I can't believe Simo prefers MBT sleeves to mine. But wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. KMC, Pale Cloudian. White. Impressive. Very nice. Let's see Farfa sleeves. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness and texture of it. 
My god, it's even got a watermark. Something wrong, Mambo? You're sweating. <laughs> it's so good! Oh my god. Mambo makes the content I wish I made. It's just this exact same link. Oh, you were putting in here for someone else. The problem with Mambo is that he's too funny, right? Like, he's just too fucking funny. This video, too funny. This video, too funny, right? Doesn't fit in yu gi -Tube. Mambo needs to, like, make a, a video where he looks directly at the camera and he goes, Oh my god, you guys! That's the only way you gotta you can make it in this uh, in this rough and tumble world. Too high quality for Yu-Gi-Oh tube. It's correct. I don't know, man. It worked kind of for Rada. Oh, yeah? That's not Rada. The fuck is Rada's name on YouTube.com? Yeah. Okay. Right? <clears throat> okay, you see when Rada was, like, consistently getting... It doesn't go back far enough. But you see when Rada was, like, at the peak of their sub count? Like, pre-May 2018, right? That was when they would open videos with ladies in mental gin, rail bikes, and rail cars. That's what people want to see on Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube. They want to see the most uncomfortable shit you've ever heard in your entire life. Does that mean every time your subs go up, we roast you as it's evidence of your decline? Yes. Is that why you have numbers, MBT? Not trying to say nothing. Here, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you all a little trick. I'll, I'll show you all a little trick. This is a, an MBT Yu-Gi-Oh trick. Okay. This is a, a gamer's trick. Okay. This was a crazy month, by the way. I don't know what happened there. Um, see all this. From uh, October 2017 to January 19th. This is when I was making good videos. Right? Boom. January 2019. My first bad video. And it's been uphill ever since, baby. The spike is Ram Ram Ranch. What was your first bad video? All right, let me let me go to my videos. I'll show you my first bad video. Hmm. This one. <laughs> this was a bad one too. Um this is my this is my first good video. This is my first good video ever, okay? Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka Mono Blue Tron. Uh, for those Mono of you that Blue don't Tron, know, I way. went 6 2 and 1 and made day 2 at YCS Columbus a couple of weeks ago. Um, but I don't want to do another deck profile because it is effectively the exact same list that I played at Nationals with maybe one main deck change to account for a meta that was more favorable for Sky Strikers. So instead, I'm going to let my fiance who has played very little Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, she plays GOAT format, and uh, we have Duel Links proxied in paper, where she's a Damn. Cyber Angel one trick. Uh, she's going to give her best guess <laughs> as to why I'm playing the cards I am. You ready? Yep. All right, go ahead. Hi, everybody. I'm Jillian, a.k.a. Mono Pinktron. She requested that she's allowed <laughs> to say this. Um, a.k.a. Mono Pinktron. Here, ready to explain this deck. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, so please bear with me. All right, 
let's jump in. Yeah. Okay, so we have these cards. You gotta you gotta put them on the oh, mat. Oh, I gotta put them on and the you mat. you have four there. Oh, how many do I need? Well, as many of each single card. So, you see there's three of the first one, Trickstar Candina. Yeah. So just fan those out. Oh, okay. Hello, this is Trickstar Candina. Yeah, why do you think uh, I'm playing this card? Um, because the dress is orange. No. Yep. Um, <laughs> When this card is normal summon, you could add one trick star card from your deck to your hand. Each time your opponent activates a spell trap card, it inflicts 200 damage to them immediately. Um, because it's a very tricky card, it's a trickster. Yeah, that's a good, um, <laughs> that's a good description. What's next? What's okay. the next card? Um, the next card is Trickstar Lycoris. Yeah. Trickstar Lycoris. Um, this dress is pink. It's also, I like it a lot. I understand I should talk more than just fashion, but I'm a girl, so. Um... Let's see. Uh, she she is the best. She is just the best. It's a normal monster, but it's very scary. And now the Phoenix thing's getting me on a Harry Potter kick. So this is like the big spiders in Harry Potter. This she another pet. She spirals. really the lore gets pretty intricate. Super agent while on the field and the G Y. <laughs> the G Y. Jillian has never seen a card with problem solving card text in her life. I, I will let you know. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. That was my first and only good video. <sighs> Alright, we'll send Gage this. Um, let's build him... When did we say that uh, the Watt Cobra was coming out? We'll save Watt Lock for when Watt Cobra comes out. Photon Shockwave? That is two from now so we'll save it for after next episode in the meantime we absolutely will be sending him this Ugh. all right we'll uh Wait, I thought he didn't have Mind Crush. Hmm. Why would you think that? All right, let's see what's in, um... Can we call Gage? I'm not going to call Gage. I don't want to bother him. I know that he feels bad already, I'm sure. Why is that there? All right. So this is our current progression deck. Oh, and for all of you saying, why did you play three rising energy? You only pulled two. I did pull three. I'm just fucking stupid. Um, but it comes to us courtesy of the gamer. The gamer is a website for people of play. Uh, use it. <laughs> what is this? This is a very old one. God, I, those are some 2019 jokes. Didn't you pull Ancient Gear Golem? I did. Okay, so what's in this next set? It's Elemental Energy. Okay. So we've got... Oh, also... Wah, wah, wah. And Millennium Scorpion, too. What the fuck? Why did they ban Millennium Scorpion? So, we can play Zhur for sure. Of the Dark Worlds, we can assume we're going to get three of all the commons. So, the reason you play Dark Worlds is uh, because Gateway to Dark World is insane, and Dark World Lightning is insane. And Silva will probably get one of. One or two. Uh, and we'll say we'll get... Let's say we get two of every rare, three of every common. That's pretty reasonable. You didn't go far back enough? I thought you timestamped it. 20705. Okay. It was really bad. 
This one's bad in a different way than those. All right, so let's uh, let's just do this. Um, comes to us courtesy of, would you be willing to do a TMT on TGs? Yes, uh, I certainly will be at some point in the future. Well, at, at some point in the future. <laughs> Shouldn't you max out Brawn? Brawn is a rare in this set. Uh, we'll probably play Jure too. Okay. So the King's Knight, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, these are bad, right? I assume these are terrible. <clears throat> yeah. Blade Edge, Wild Heart. No way that Wild Heart is good. Traps don't do anything yet. Reborn Zombie. Bad card. Holy shit, bad card. Very, very bad card. Chthonian Soldier. Similarly shitty. Infernal Incinerator. I remember this card being decent. This can only be normal... Normal Summoned! This is a conditional normal summon. This card can only be normal summoned... By discarding all other cards in your hand and tributing one card you control with 2,000 or more attack. This can't be a real card. This has got to be a fake card invented by someone trying to confuse me personally. Oh my god, Infernal Incinerator is so bad. Whoa. Uh, Jack's Knight is probably good enough. Jack's Knight is a tribute monster. I'm not paying for a fucking 5 star in 1900. I don't think Hydra is good, chat. I'm sorry, but I don't think Hydro is good. Hydro is enormous fucking tempo, but no one's playing utility monsters. They're just counting numbers. I think it's actually terrible and limited. Like, you're basing your knowledge of Hydro get on at a time when you could consistently ensure that its effect resolved. We can't do that, and we don't get any payoff for having two Hydro get ons. It's like we can't overlay for an Xyz. I think Oxy get on is really good. And I'll explain why in a sec. Uh, a wall Cyber is so bad. It's so bad. BES Tetran is uh, decent. Tetran's actually very interesting. Tetran actually seems kind of broke now that I'm reading it. Eighteen hundred though is so low. Nano Breaker. Oh wow, Nano Breaker is a sweet fucking card. I, we're not going to um, we're not going to play it, but it's really interesting. Uh, these guys. I don't think we're playing Brow. That's too much. Uh, Ausa. We have the familiar possessed. These are the good ones. We're going to be playing Win for sure. Uh, we could play Tiger Catapult. This card seems like ass. And all these are ultras. Play Dark World Lightning. We already have it. Anything else here? Chthonian Alliance is probably not good enough yet. I imagine Chthonian Alliance is, is kind of fucking terrible. Uh, armed Changer, awful. Branch, no. Boss Rush. Oh my god. Can we play the Boss Rush deck? No, we're never going to have enough BESs. They're all at super or higher rarity. Chthonian Blast. Uh, that's a really good card. That's a very good card. Sorry, Jerry Beans, man. And Conscription. This card's going to be terrible. I think we're going to play some number of the Forces of Darkness. 
Uh, Dark Deal is also really good. Uh, but we're not going to play it because there's no good spells yet. Rollout is really strong, but I don't think we have it. And none of the other ones of these are good at all. Okay, so unfortunately, here's the position we're in. Uh, DJBJW. Holy shit, thank you for the 8,500 bits. I gotta go soon, but consider for a future limited format a poison pill card. The loser can make the others play next game. And a theme card everyone must include for a given set. Ooh, that's a good idea for the live show for, for sure. That's a really good idea. Fuck. Wow. What are your favorite bad decks? Uh, Phantasm Spiral. Okay, so what are we playing? I, we're not playing Ancient Gear Golem. I'm sorry, this is just not good. Ellie, you suck at Yu-Gi-Oh. There you go. Uh, we're probably not playing Beast either. Beast is so bad. Uh, Cybernetic Cyclopean. No way this card is still good, right? Survivor is not good enough. I think we can get off like the 2,000 defenders. So uh, we don't need to be playing Aelin. Uh, why, uh, Rival appears seems very bad. Dimension Wall doesn't actually accomplish anything. Uh, we probably need a couple more wind targets. We could play like a gyroid or two. Keep Lele for sure. Uh, we, I think we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we probably don't have enough Dark Worlds to facilitate this. Maui can go. Do you think it's time? I, I did pull a Power Bond. Yeah, we should play the Power Bond for sure. Uh, no, we shouldn't. Um, that's actually very stupid. Do you think we should cut Cyclopean? I don't think we can. I I'm going to cut it to one. But I'm not going to cut the one. We can cut like a Xur. This is looking pretty good. So here's, here's the problem. Here. Here's the general issue. Um, I don't know how we win the game. I have no idea how we win the game. So this is a good deck full of decent monsters. And I'm very happy for that. But I don't think we can ever realistically hope to beat anyone because more important than, like, card advantage here is, like, uh, attack thresholds. And Hieroko Sphinx and Cybernetic Commander, I think is the guy's name, Cybernetic Magician, they all have higher attack than anything I'm playing. Golem... Explain Oxygetons. Uh, it's an 1800 attack beater that's wind type for the only removal spell in the format. I think you might be right. Yeah, let's play Golem. In fact, let's play Golem Turbo. No, let's just play Golem. Cut another Xur here. How does anyone out Golem? Well, they the power bond, I guess. Get rid of this guy. He's bad. He's he's our only out to hike Rose Sphinx otherwise.
play your own power bomb? Sure. How about we do this? This is more wins, also. This is, the, we're getting very greedy here. Oh, this is so greedy. Yeah, we'll cut the Dark World trap. And hilariously, in its place, we're going to put some Dark Worlds. <laughs> Uh, no, we're not. We're going to cut Cyclopean. You were right, chat. We're going to cut Silva. Put in two Dark Worlds here. Just pretend we get Brow. Yeah, this is looking tight. Oh, this is looking tight as shit. Cut an oxy. Yes. Yes. What should Braun discard? Nothing. It's Zer's copy four and five. This is so bad. This is terrible. We don't have... This is like... This is, we don't have to pull anything. This is completely normal pulls. The problem is, what what this deck is trying to do is sacrifice the monsters that you get back for free off of Arrival and uh, Gateway and uh, shit like that. And then sacrifice them to Ancient Gear Golem. We have one Ancient Gear Golem. If we had like triple Hycro Sphinx, this, this list would be lit. But we don't. We have... None of that shit. Yeah, this is very bad. Oh, chat, I let you talk me into making a bad list. That's fine. I think it's decent for the time being. Hmm. I'm playing tomorrow for this, so... What other tribute monsters do you have? Nothing. i show you what I got. Oh, Blade Edge? Ugh, Blade Edge is a 7. Not interested in Blade Edge. Here's what we have. We have Soitsu and Doitsu. We have Cryo Sphinx. What think? Cryo Sphinx? We have... UFO Roid. Augury. And we have a bunch of fucking Death Frogs. That's what we have. Chibi, that's broken. But no. That's our tribute pool. We have two Millennium Scorpions. We have Giant Kozaki. He's pretty big. Like, I don't really understand what we're supposed to be doing. We could play Soitsu Doitsu. Ooh, do you think that might be good? We have Prepare to Strike Back. We have level conversion lab. That's a 50% chance to normal summon our uh, ancient gear golem. Q 
can't use rising energy. Use Jetroid effect to use wind art from the hand. <gasps> you have the earth art trap? It's not good. It's terrible. Have you read the earth art trap? Tribute an earth mon uh, monster. Summon a level four or lower earth monster from your graveyard. Except the monster you s went. So you can tag a defense position Lele into attack position Lele. That's the best thing you can do with this card. Minus one yourself to do that. And a replay occurs. We have magical explosion. Fire darts is nothing. Nothing. You have to be hellbent and it's a bad burn card. How does... I actually don't hate the Soitsu Doitsu thing. What are your fusions? There they are. Okay, uh, I like this idea. What if instead we do Soitsu Doitsu? So Soitsu's a three. Doitsu's a four. And 25 is big enough to get over anything. So the payoff is pretty impressive. It would be like Soitsu, Doitsu, rollout. And then what do we do? Cut the Dark Worlds. No fucking way, dude. The Dark Worlds are so good. Probably cut the Oxy get -ons at this point. Oh, fine. We'll cut the fucking Dark Worlds. You know, now that we cut the Dark Worlds, this looks a lot better. What gets over Blade Edge? How big is Blade Edge? How rare is this? It's got to be a super. Earth Trap for Doitsu? Pottery. Yeah. For sure. And then what other attacker can we include? Uh, definitely, um, our, uh, Rival Appears is good. This is looking pretty dope. <laughs> One Silva for Lightning. I don't even know if I'd play it. Probably not. All right. GB Gohan, are you here? I am going to play just a little bit of Duel Links, and then we're going to call it for the night. That's right. We're going to play a form of Yu-Gi-Oh. You thought we weren't going to play any Yu-Gi-Oh period, but we're going to play just a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh. Just a teensy bit of Yu-Gi-Oh. Sorry, chat. I tried to, uh, I tried to steer clear, but I can't. What happened to building Gage's deck? We have it. We're going to build him, uh, 
a Watt deck next time when he loses again. Are they around? I actually don't see them. Alright, uh, how do you do this? You go PvP Arena. Dual room. Create a room. Room name is going to be MBT. It's going to be casual. We're going to put 10 people in it. No entry conditions. Uh, no recruiting. I don't know what any of this is. You can enter a comment. Additional comments. Gaming. Okay. This is the room. Behold the room. The room. Do -do -do. Oh, I don't want to use this deck. Fuck you. When team five D's need to win, they turn to me. Uh, you know what I'm using, baby. Do you think it's a good time to get back into Duel Links? No. Uh... Duel Links is more expensive than it's been in years right now. You can if you like, but if you're not playing, like, exactly, I think Fire King is the budget deck, you're not going to be having a great time. Not Prankster. Okay. Blue Eyes is super cheap. No, it is not. I don't think there's necessarily a good or bad time, though. Oh, there's Chibi Gohan. Uh, Burger Kong, get out of here. Shit. There we go. Hey, hey! Let's go! Run Ritual Beast? No. Have you played Digital Bugs? I haven't. For what it's worth, Digital Bugs is a fantastic entry deck. Okay, so, listen, T uh, Chibi Gohan is the TG Master. So, I'm interested to see what they can do with it. Keep up with me. This hand is so good. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, go to hell. Okay, we're going to definitely get... Da -da 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 glove, And I think we're getting Sister, too. All right, ready? We're just going to draw the uh, Utopic Onomatopoeia. It's annoying. Mm, that's really annoying. I guess I have to get wind here. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know what Zubaba Bancho Gaga got coat does. Ooh, they're thinking. What could they possibly be thinking about? Please explain why you run Gaga Ga Wind. What? This is a super consistent inclusion in the deck. Have a hand trap, do you? Well, let's see how your hand trap functions against my Photon Strike Bouncer. It will function completely fine. This card does nothing. 12 card extra. Uh, Bruno literally just gets to play TCG. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. Hey. 
Come on. Come on. There we go. It's just Warwolf. Oh, duh. So we could have saved the Gagaga -ga -ga Wind if we didn't want to play around a fucking Chaos Hunter or whatever. But it doesn't matter. We have no use for Gagaga -ga -ga Wind turns 2 and beyond. There's nothing in our deck that discards either. There's just literally no reason to do it. Okay, so Steel Swarm Roach or Abyss Dweller? Vote on your phones now. What do you think? Roach 100%. Abyss, Abyss, Dweller, Dweller. Roach, Dweller. Well, this is pretty close. Hmm. I always go Dweller. I always go Dweller. I will try Roach. All right, let's see. Show me what you got. Wow, this is not once per turn. Holy shit. I love everyone who's like, you have to make Roach. He's on TG. And everyone else is like, you have to make Dweller. He's on TG. <laughs> Tech Genus? That's what this stood for the entire time? I never knew. Since this monster was level four or lower, There's the Warwolf. You have to make Cowboy burn for 10 for percent? Yeah. Make John Chungus? TG1XL. Uh... That's annoying. Ah, that's such a good card. Uh, okay. Let's go for a Warwolf here. Cowboy burns for 20%? Nope, they halved it. By the way, that decision, best thing they ever did for Duel Links. Ayo, MBT, last time I'm asking, what gender should I be? Whatever you want, buckaroo. Gender it is as fake as TG combo lines. Lava Golem was fun and balanced though. I'll I'll destroy you. I will attack you. Shit. Drillfish is Melu Seek. Tech gender. Thank you. Damn, that's crazy. Ah, damn. Ah, my god. It doesn't negate the activation. Thankfully, there's no main phase two, so... Ooh, that is a bad fucking rip. Oh, that's such a bad draw. If I eat the tuner, am I fine? No, I have to actually eat the drill fish. Oh, this is so bad! TG stands for Teach Gage. I, draw. I believe in you, Beha's life. The power's in your hands. This isn't going to be a where do you want to eat type scenario. I'll say something, you'll go, oh, well, I didn't really want to eat there. But hey, if you want to, that's fine. And then we argue for 20 minutes. You're going to have to make this decision on your own. Okay, here's Star Guardian. So Star Guardian uh, Excel Synchros. This card is special summon. You can target a TG monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. And then you get a free special per turn. Gender is an invention to sell more bathrooms. Absolutely correct. Star Guardian lets me retrieve the tech genus from my graveyard. Do I negate this? I have to, right? They're going to get Striker. Well, 
Yeah, now I really have to. Have to prevent the uh, drill fish. God, drill fish is so strong. Are you fucking with me? Oh, they're so low. 900, but we're almost out of gas. Oh, this is the worst. Utopic Automatopoeia is a fantastic rip off the top. Oh, that's bad. Raptor. How does a booster raptor? Oh, good. Okay, if that's the end of the turn, I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, please. Automatopoeia to Baba Bancho Gaga Coat. That was pretty good. Okay. Getting to eat the Star Guardian is pretty based. Again, any monster will take any monster whatsoever. I'll take it. Any monster. I draw. I uh, draw. Oh, great. Can I beat set a couple booster raptors? Oh, God. I could still be fiendish. Okay, come on. That's the only one it couldn't be. That is the only one it couldn't be. I can't attack the booster raptors. Ten cards. No Utopic Onomatopoeia. Three of these ten cards are Utopic Onomatopoeia. Oh, God. This may be slipping out of my grasp. Okay. Onomatopoeia. Thank you. My fucking God. Okay, we're going to do this because it'll fiend out in the gate from the back row. That's horrifying. Why would they let that resolve? Huh. Well, now we have a problem. I'm trying. I'm I'm fucking trying. Oh, well if that's what you're playing, I am no longer concerned. I am no longer concerned. Uh so I could go for the win by making malevolent sin. I think I want to make I think I want to make dweller. Yeah, Dweller plays around more stuff, I think. We could just win the game here, but I don't think... I, I think that we are in the same position if we resolve the effect of Dweller. Cool. Okay. All their combos are two cards. Minimum. I will be fine. Do they have, like, a skill I should be worried about? I thought the skill was what added 15 cards to the extra deck at the start of the game. Pretty sure it is. Set Delta XL adds 5 cards to the fucking extra. Draw phase. It's fish off the top. That's funny. But not enough. Let's battle. Take this. Take this direction. Uh. 
Yeah, yeah, pop this guy. Pop my friend. That's this. You have the winning formula in hand. I you have the winning formula in hand. It's literally go to battle phase and attack. That's the winning formula. Woo! All right, we did it, gamers. Why can't Bouncer negate that? Occurs during the damage step. The only thing that uh, Bouncer, or the only negation effects that can activate during the damage step are negation effects that uh, negate the activation of something. Bouncer's text is that it negates the effect of a card. Ah, oh, epic. Ah, oh, Chibi, I wish this deck was good. God, I wish this deck was good. But uh, TG is just not very good. <laughs> All right, folks, that's going to be uh, it for me. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. I had, a, I had a gay old time. We had some spoofs. We had some splaffs. We had some goofs. We had some gaffs. I am going to play one more ad. I implore you all to sit around and uh, click just as much as you can. You know, it's all about clicking. You know, uh, I got to get that uh, fatty CTR. Uh, Coder's Live playing Legend of Zelda. Holy shit. Oh, um, I'm, I'm going to send you over to my old uh person that i did a an acting show with a uh, noob mama uh they play horror games and they are extremely fun also they are uh they make a comic that you have all seen on reddit i guarantee you've all seen this fucking comic on reddit Augury. uh but uh yeah um good night good luck I started the ad, so if you're not seeing the ad, you know, that means that you are one of the chosen few. And Sir Jack Mekinson, thank you so much for the subscription. The comic is named Noob Mama, I think. Hold up. 6,000 likes on Facebook. Holy shit. All right, ready? Here we go. Uh, let me go to the ending slide. Now I'll just sing a little bit. T-bone steak at the wall... All around me are familiar faces. Thank you, Kabao Bam, for the sub. Also, fuck you, Gage. Gage, you need to learn to play a card game. It's not a hard game. Bup, 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 bard game. Please main mine crush tomorrow. Or I'll kill you. That's all I have to say for tonight. No, 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 no! It's a Disney film! In the live action Beating the Beast, there was originally an enchanted talking toilet called Monsieur Toilette. What? And you can see him briefly the... in the Blu-ray release of Beating the Beast. What just happened? So, guess who just won? What just happened? Me.